okay, on my screen. We are live. Hello, everybody on Facebook. Hello, everybody. We're teaming up again. Not that anybody's there at this moment in time, because we've literally just gone live. But, um... <laughs> Yay! We've even got that sorted out, Vera. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you. Oh dear, the necklace has come off. I wonder why it was looking wonky. Wonky donkey. So, how is everybody out there? I haven't got the chat up yet. Um, let's get that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's it is uh, quarter past 12 a.m. here in England. It's 1 a.m. there in the Netherlands with Vera. So, yeah, this is my usual time to go and do astrology readings. So, this is astrology readings. It is for the 4th through to the 10th of October 2021. And we're going to do all signs. Um, whichever ones we're going to start with, we will find out who's in the chat, if there is anybody. If not, we'll just go with um, whatever we've got. Um, whatever we decide to first, don't you? Mm -hmm. Right, let's go. So first, let's see who is about. It's like they'll be sick of me. She's live again, for God's sake. <laughs> Can you see that we're on there? Because I can't see anything. You haven't found it yet? I, you're on it. Let no. me, let me see. Oh, there we are. I got yeah, it. you found it? Got I've it. got it. I've got it. Otherwise, I would have tagged you. So, hello, Derek Manning. Hello. And Anna Iva, hello. Good morning, afternoon. I'm not sure which it is for you guys. So whereabouts are you in this universe and on this planet? Where are you guys? And are you having a nice day or evening? Uh -huh. So Vera, you've got all your signs ready. I got all my cards ready. Good. Good. Well, all my cards? No, not all of them. Because then I would have had have 18 decks in front of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Might be a bit extreme. But I can put them up here. Um. So people can see a little bit or feel the energy of the two decks I'll be using. I can't um, share this on Psychic Alley. I don't actually know how. Do you know how to share it on Psychic Alley? On your Psychic Alley page? Yeah. Let's see. I, I don't know how to get from it on my phone over to there. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's see. Get what astrology dog. signs? What astrology signs are you guys? Hello, Dawn Foster. Hello. So I've got, what is your sun, moon and rising as well? If you don't know what your sun, moon and rising is, then if you go to um, the search engine and put what is my sun, moon and rising, and then one of those sites will then ask you for um, the location, the time and the date of your birth. And then it will give you, um, if you don't know your exact time, then they will just do an estimate. Okay, so... Um, yeah, that's probably the easiest thing to do. So um, my sun sign, my birth sign is Pisces. 
I have Sagittarius as my moon and I have Libra rising. So what are you, what's all yours, Vera? Do you remember yours? Oh, I keep forgetting them. <laughs> and I had my phone somewhere and I don't have it now. <laughs> we went to get some water earlier. Is it out there in the kitchen? Well, it could be. That's a very good idea. But I think I better get this one first. Ooh. So we've got Vera. Vera's going to be doing some readings as well um, as we. So yeah, we've got we've got choices here. Okay, so depending on what your birth signs are, um, we'll see what we're starting with. So um, John Seabrook as well. Hello, hello, John. Okay. So we're going to be doing a, a raffle, and if anybody is, um, it, this is a continued raffle that we're already doing. Okay. What's, have you got your sun moon and rising there? Hello, okay. Carl. Good thing I saved it, otherwise I would, know, would not know what it was. Let you know, there's kind of the um, subtitles on there. It said sun and randomizing. It came up. <laughs> Instead of sun, moon and rising, sun and randomizing. Oh, <laughs> well, my That's funny. Uh, son done it again. is Aries. Yeah. yeah. What? My son is Aries, moon Aquarius, ascended Taurus and MC Capricorn. What's MC? Probably the rising. Oh. Ah. So you've got earth signs in there, haven't you? Earth and fire. Ooh. Okay. Right. So um, if anybody wanted to go on to the raffle, the raffle is a pound. Um, or if you're outside of the UK, it's $2. Um, here's some of the prizes. Okay, we've got the Gilded Tarot. Okay, so there could be two main prizes um, and then two mystery prizes. Okay, so here's some of, you know, what the Gilded look like. And these, I would say, is a good first deck. You could actually get away with using these um, as the first deck. Okay, so if you wanted to which, have a go, they're which, lovely, which, the illustrations. Which Psychic Alley group did you want it? Uh, any of them, all of them. I'm just sharing it, getting it out there. So, okay. giving reading. Yeah, that one. Um, and the other deck is the Good Tarot. Okay, so these are some of the choices. So, obviously, the first two people decide on what it is that they want, first of all. Okay, so this is what the Good Tarot looks like. Okay, so. These are very good for, I think, clairvoyant readings, like reading them intuitively. Okay, so going with that energy. Okay, so there's the, those two choices. The other choice is um, this um, starry projector. Okay, so it's a starry projector. So this basically does um, colors all, all around your room. Okay, so it's kind of literally, it, it's, uh, it's beautiful. So I usually put it behind me. Um, I haven't got mine on at the moment, um, but yeah, so that's another of the choices. Another choice is this butterfly um, decor, so this goes in the window and, um, you know, it's, it just shines um, pretty lights all the way around the window. The other one is um, Feng Shui um, bracelet, okay, so this has got black obsidian on it. And you wear the Pixu, the little dragon, you wear it facing outwards. Um, and this brings about good fortune. Another choice is 
runes, a set of runes. Okay, lots of these resin runes here. Okay, black and gold. Um, or you've got these posters. Okay, there's two posters. Here they are. Okay, so these are made out of resin as well. So there's your choices. So the first two people will choose uh, what it is that they want. Okay, out of these. Okay, so if you wanted to go in with the raffle, it is a pound a go. Okay, so if there's anybody watching this after um, tonight's live, um, a lot of people do watch it afterwards, then you can contact me, you can inbox me. Probably the safest way is to say how many tickets you want, you know, if it's one ticket or if it's, you know, two tickets, um, and then I'll add um, you on, okay, just so that we know, because otherwise you won't know what numbers have been taken up yet. I'm going to show you what numbers are available as of today, which is here, okay, so this is what it is, and as soon as we are nearly full, or four here, I will then um, give you, um, I'll, I'll then, if you if you want to leave your number, okay, you can, and then I will text you when it's ready or email you if you're outside of the UK, so I can let you know, all right, but um, yeah, so that's, that's what it is, so that's what's left, okay, so we're going to get on and do the astrology, do you want to go first, Vera, or do you want to go second? What would you prefer? Thank you for doing all those. I'll go second this time. Second? I hear, I hear the word second. Oh, okay. Second. So, um, hi, Karen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hit record. Okay. Recording in progress. Okay, so this is astrology readings for the 4th of October 2021 through to the 10th of October 2021 with myself, Psychic Ali, and with our lovely Vera. Um, so we, you've got a, a mixture of readings today. So you've got... Um, what Vera gets and what I get, okay? And they just literally complement each other usually. Okay, so how you doing, Karen? I think you're a Scorpio, if I remember. I don't know, I think so, I think you're a Scorpio. So we'll start with whatever birth sign you are. So what, are, what birth sign are you, uh, Karen? Karen and I used to go drinking together. Oh, Joanne, hello, Joanne. Joanne or Joanne? I think I could have also set up them. Emma. Hello, Emma. And Paige. Hello. Hi, Paige. And Karen. And I saw a new one on top. Yeah. And it and not too bad. Thank you. Birthday. Yeah, but what is your birth sign, my lovely? Is it Scorpio? I think that is Scorpio, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I think that's Scorpio. We will start with um, water signs then, okay? <clears throat> I'm in a funk, really needed to see you guys. Oh, that's good. Oh, we'll bring you some positivity, Paige. Okay? Bring you positivity. Look at her. Look at, look at Vera's sign. She's, she's on it. Hers are very professional. Right, I've got to find a way. <laughs> Mine aren't, though. Vera's off. <laughs> well, well, I, I maximized it to the A4 paper, so it would be big, big. No matter the distance, you can see it, even if I put it out here. No, it's good. It looks good. Happy doodly done. Um. <laughs> right <laughs> hey i found something <laughs> i needed i needed height and i couldn't find height okay that's right in my way 
4 p.m. Okay. So, that's much better. Okay, so let's have a look and see what is going on with Scorpios. Okay, I'm feeling good, Karen. Uh, Karen, darling, I'm getting married. I'm getting married. I mean, I know you know, but we set the date. Okay, now whether we are, so Emma's a Virgo, just go there. Um, so, would love you um, to come along to the evening. You're absolutely welcome to. It's going to be at the dog and duck, okay, in um, Plaxcutter. So, um, yeah, so that is going to be on the 5th of November. Did you say that your birthday is the 5th of November? Did you just say that? Cool. Oh, the day before. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're getting married. So, you are welcome to pop over and have a drink with us. Um, Oh, I need to come over and try not to get is. Yeah. Yeah, so um, come and have a drink. Um, it's kind of like an open house in the evening. It's kind of like whoever wants to come, comes. Yeah, so. Ooh. Good. <laughs> Ready, I will, um, I'll, inbox, I'll inbox you more details when we know more. I have to write myself little notes and things. <laughs> okay, right. So I'm, I'm going I'm first. I'm sending you love, Paige. I'm sending you love so you don't feel so alone. And I'll ask my body, Benji, if he can come and over and give you a big, 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 big hug. He can oh, do that now. What's happened with what's happened with Paige? I mean I can't really need to see you guys. Yeah, I read that one. Um, I was supposed to be in the UK October the 13th. Why are you not? Why are you not, darling? Okay. So Scorpio, Scorpio, okay, this is for the 4th through to the 10th of October 2021, okay, let's see what's going on with you guys. Okay, the beginning of the week is going to start off with um, official meetings or dealing with official things, sorting out this sorting out that kind of putting things into compartments like this is a, this is um you know when you're you're kind of going the importance or relevance of certain um certain things it's like well that can wait until later but that can't so i've got to do that um and i'm it, so everything is kind of being reorganized or sorted okay and i'm seeing kind of this energy it's around something to do with authority or a person who is kind of being a little bit pushy, okay? For some of you, it's just authority. But for others of you, I, I feel that there may be kind of a, an urgency or you're feeling pressure. Um, there seems to be some boundaries around you, um, emotional boundaries that you're having to set into place, um, you know, and because um, I feel that there's somebody around you who is taking advantage of you, taking, you know, in control. They're trying to be in control, okay, of you. There seems to be a strong past life influence going on with you and this other person. And I feel that you may need to kind of let go and kind of allow the situation to calm down um, before you kind of go further um, into this kind of situation. So you're just being... Um, uh, more careful than than normal. It's it's like you don't want to rock the boat anymore. Okay, um, so around the middle of um, this next week, um, I'm seeing that there is going to be a massive clear out. I'm seeing you getting rid of things. Um, I'm seeing that an argument will kind of come to a head, okay, or disagreement will come to a head. Um, this may be a personal one. This may be um, something that 
you just feel emotional about. Um, but there's some of these crowns been knocked off. There's so much going on. It's like busy and busy and busy and busy kind of all around you. So it feels as if the, the, um, it's trying to um, deal with everything. Um, it's not easy for you at this, at this time. So, but um, you do have the world card. Now the world card just says to me that everything is gonna work out the way it's supposed to. Okay, that everything is going to be good. So when you think it's gonna be bad, it's not, okay? Um, it might just feel it at the time. So I feel that there's gonna be a build up to do with legal matters, official matters, um, paperwork, contracts, okay? It can be form filling, all right? So um, there's a lot of that going on. Now, by the end of the week, there's outspoken words and I feel that you're getting things off your chest once and for all. And um, this won't be a bad thing because it feels as if people need to know or this particular person needs to know where they stand. OK, um, enough is enough. OK, there. Um, I can see that you're going to be making some firm choices. OK, and this is about leaning towards one way or another. And this is this is linked around work or finance decisions. OK, it's like, do I go in that direction or this? Um, I do feel that there's a need to let your hair down. I can hear you in the background that there may be a pregnancy announcement for some of you. This won't affect all of you, um, but there's gonna be a pregnancy announcement around close friends or family, okay? It's gonna be nice. Or it, it's something to do with the, the, the baby. Um, it could be a birth of a baby. It could be an announcement. It could be some celebration around the baby, okay? So yeah, that's what I'm seeing. There you go. Do you hear us? Good. I was muted. <clears throat> well, I already pulled while Ellie was uh, talking. And the reading for Scorpio for 4th of October until 10th of October. The first that card came out, Stranger Curiosity. And it feel I I get a message that it's it's mostly about you are interested in new ideas, maybe a new direction where you want to go to uh, or a vacation, change of job, change of of maybe even the daily routine. Like I'm I, like it's, it, you're stuck in in a certain routine and you want something different. And strange curiosity, it's 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 about exploring what, what else you can do and see if you can change up uh yeah, a bit of your routine or, or your daily life or whatever it is that it's where you feel you're being held back in. Like I you cannot really pour your heart in. So you're gonna I, th I think some or maybe a lot of you are going, thinking about what can I change what I haven't tried before? What can I do? That's for the beginning of the week. And towards the middle of the week, it says skywriting the faith. And it's also. You you might be on a path that you think I'm not going nowhere, and I every time I run into closed doors. Sometimes you can say, okay, accept the fate. I'm at a position right now that all these closed doors really mean take a breather, look at the things a different way, and wait till the doors are open. Sometimes you have to tread carefully to get the things done but in your mind you just focus on what you want but accept where you're at sometimes it's about accepting acknowledging what you feel how you are what you're at you cannot change the world if you don't change the way you see yourself 
presenting yourself and presenting yourself to the world. Towards the end of the week, the jeweled web connectivity. So even in the beginning of the week, it's, it's, it feels like a lot of soul searching. But uh, towards the end of the week, you can see all of a sudden ideas that pop up. Well, I want ha, uh, tried this before. It failed before. But when I go this route, because there are many roads to where you want to go, that it finally starts connecting. It's, it's finally, instead of weaving a web, because you when you have to want to want to go somewhere somewhere you'll have to weave a web where i'm going where can i go and then start putting the crystals on and then all of a sudden it starts to shine and you see the connection because you might think i want to go this way but the universe has a better plan for you to go that way and the last card I felt compelled to have some something of a direction or, or, or something you can hold on. And that's from the animal oracle, uh, the archangel animal oracle card. And it's about the cows. Cows can feel love, can be love. And under it, Give with unconditional love and grace. So if you put that on the ideas you have or what you want, and that could be just a change in the house, moving around your furniture, but give love with and grace, it can also be given to yourself because you deserve everything you've been fighting for your whole life. And it doesn't mean, mean if you, it's only been a few years or you're already on a pension, not working. It can still be for you. You deserve the best. By loving yourself, you can project it to the world. People will start seeing you. And when you get sit, walk in those closed doors, it's just that some people do not like you to change. Change for you is good. Over to you, Ellie. Hello. <laughs> Thank that you. Was, that was a bit of sidetrack uh, uh, message. <laughs> yeah. I was um, like, where are you taking me? Well, it's. It was kind of heavy, do you see what I mean? It was, it was, um, there's a lot going on in Scorpio um, energies, okay? So, um, that's that's probably why, yeah, the car to hang on, the message to hang on, mm, yeah, that's why they wanted me to take this one. Transition is there, but you've just got to kind of keep going. I don't feel as if it's bad, I feel as if it's transition and change, that's all, yeah. Okay, so we're now doing Pisces. Okay, that can Pisces. feel extremely heavy, but when yeah. you embrace the transmute, transmuting of the pain or anything that's heavy, it's, yeah. it yeah, lifts it, doesn't it? Yep. Sometimes we just have to go through it rather than dodge it. Yeah. Don't don't discard it. Acknowledge it. Embrace it. Exactly. Very important the coming upcoming months, I feel. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Okay, so it's over to Pisces. Pisces is my birth um, sign. So it's mine. Hello, Roz. Hello, welcome. Okay, so we're starting off the beginning of the week with Pisces, um, the 4th through to the 10th of October 2021. Okay, so there seems to be a bit of a question mark over a relationship, okay? I feel that there is a need to kind of dissect everything. There's a need to kind of make some choices and make some decisions. Um, I feel tormented by 
matters that I need to speak about. Hi, Sarah, good to see you. Um, matters that I need to speak about. I don't know how to get my point across. I don't know how, and my mama, I don't know how to tell people what I think. You're right on all, oh, mum. It's Pisces I'm doing right now. So me and my mum are Pisces, you see. Um, so, so, yeah, it feels as if it's like, well, this, this is an awkward dilemma that I'm in, but I need to address it, okay? And I'm feeling as though um, I've got lots of different choices, lots of decisions that I need to make. Um, it's like I can, I can go at this, this direction, I can go at it this direction. Which way am I going to go? There seems to be a very dominant energy around. So this, this person, it feels as if there's a person whose energy is a little bit heavy. Okay. Um, I'm sensing that this person has a, a strong opinion and sometimes that strong opinion can be a little bit too much. Okay. Um, I feel that there is mum energy, mother energy, motherly energy around. So this doesn't have to be your direct mum. It can be linked with children. Um, it can be linked with family members who are younger. Okay. Um, and this is like walking on eggshells around this particular situation and not knowing how to deal with it. Do I want to come across as being heavy? Okay. And, you know, um, too opinionated, or do I need to kind of come about this in a gentler way? There seems to be an issue over stuff that's happened in the past. Okay, so it's it's kind of like um, you know, in in childhood, I went through this similarly, um, and I didn't want to do this. You know, I don't want to come across like this. So um, it could be, you know, I I had somebody around me. Um, who perhaps needed to be more of a guidance rather than a dictator, you know? And so I feel as if you're trying to learn from the past about how to deal with this emotional situation in the present time. The middle of the week is gonna be more peaceful. I feel that everything seems to be settled down and everything is in harmony, okay, regarding that emotional matter. Um, your spirit guides and your loved ones are around you very much. Look out for little signs of them. So it could be that you might see, um, you know, something that reminds you is a memory link connected to that loved one. It could be that there is um, a certain smell that suddenly comes into, um, into your, your area where you're standing. And it's like, well, there's no way that could be there's no reason for me to smell that, apart from the fact that that's connected to my loved one. Um, so look out for these things, okay? Sometimes you might see orbs, okay? Like little uh, round bubbles in um, photographs that you're taking, okay? Um, look out for all of those things um, because I feel that the spirit around you, um, you know, in a nice way. There seems to be a fatherly character now, father figure, authority person um, this could be a male character who tries to act like your dad where are you going what you're doing kind of energy um, there is a need to kind of dissect things at the moment look deeper into things so this is very much delving uh, diving down into your spiritual self okay um, and that is around the middle of the week by the end of the week um, I'm seeing somebody who's got a bit of a sting in their tail I feel that this person can be a little bit cutting um, with what they say because I feel that they get um, either um, angry or jealous or insecure. Okay, that this person um, is it's like you, whatever you do is going to be wrong. Whatever you do is not going to come out right. It's not going to feel right. Okay, so it's like, I don't know if I'm sick and tired of um, trying to please this person. Um, you know, my head is spinning. OK, um, it seems to be somebody around you who wants everything done their way. I think it's got to be perfect. I'm also feeling a little bit angry um, about a, um, an unfair situation to do with job or work. Now, I know that this is um, obvious because there's lots of things going on, but I can't help but tell you what I'm getting. OK, it does feel that there is um, some firm decisions that you're going to be needing to make. 
and I'm seeing you standing your ground and I'm seeing you saying, um, no, I'll find another way. Okay, so I don't know what they mean by that, but you do have the temperance card, which is about balance. Um, and that usually means sometimes we can find the balance in other areas. Um, there seems to be somebody hiding behind, um, it's like a cool and calm exterior, but inside they're kind of, they've got this anger, okay, that's building. Okay, this person needs to, I feel that they need, whoever this is I'm picking up, they need to watch their blood pressure. Because okay, they seem to be getting angry, okay? The more they get angry without actually um, letting it loose, it's kind of being swallowed down and kind of pushed down. Uh, what is happening then is it's creating a dis, dis ease, a dis, disharmony uh, within you. So um, sometimes we need a release, that can be going for a jog. Um, that can be, I don't know, find a basketball hoop, go and play some basketball or something. Um, it just feels as if you've got to go and do something to get rid of this tension. Okay. I see for Pisces. Over to you, Vera. Yes. <clears throat> and I laughed about the one card, but that you'll find out later. <clears throat> Okay, prediction for Pisces for the upcoming week, 4th of October to October 10th. The first card that came out, it says hollow bone teachability. And I feel drawn to say, even though people say, well, you cannot teach an old dog new tricks, it doesn't matter. Anyone can learn new skills. Anyone can improve what they can. When you're open to it, and that's what a hollow bone stands for, keep an open mind because when you keep do that, you can, you, well, you can literally teach yourself to look at, uh, the, at the world a different way to your standard react response on, to, uh, on someone's emotions. You, you feel, uh, when you feel you need to change, you want to react different, you're already teaching yourself a different response. That's for the beginning of the week. Just keep an open mind. You can change, you can teach other things. And Miss Charmingly apparently agrees because she starts shouting again. Yes, I'm talking. Towards the middle of the week, because when you start exploring new ideas for yourself, that you get unstuck on the idea, I cannot do anything else I've been doing. But when you feel drawn to something new, and you start diving deep into that task in the throughout the middle of the week, because yeah, for young people it's learning comes easy, easy. But when you're getting a little older or you're stuck in a certain way, but when you go really deep into it, you can feel there's a world opening up. I can do other things. I am capable of doing better choice, making maybe even better choice and choices to go who you are, to, to be who you truly are. And towards the end, hi girl. <laughs> and towards the end of the week, I pulled the watchers card, transpersonal. Because when you prepare yourself, open your mind to learn new things or take in information into a different, di well, take it in in a different way, you feel you're, you're, you're changing. You don't know it, but people around you say, what have, what, what, what happened to you? You, you all of a sudden shine more. 
because when you let yourself be open to 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 learn to take in the info there's gonna be a heap load of energy change inside you and instead of that it feels like i'm stuck but when you start to shine from within it doesn't matter where you are if you can move around easy if you can't move around but when you shine people will notice what's wrong or not what's wrong but they will notice they think what's wrong with you you've changed they don't like it and i left when this card flew out again like the first one with scorpio because it's it feels to me that also for pisces this week is about give with unconditional love and grace and i feel strongly compelled to say this is meant for you as a person to feed your own feed yourself with unconditional love and grace because you deserve you deserve every bit of good you don't have to accept where you're at and the biggest start is just unconditional love and grace and if you don't know how just go you, you can watch animal movies how they interact with each other because the more we go back to our natural way of life even though we have beautiful homes and we can get the food in in, in stores and you stop denying your natural true inner self you can unconditional love with grace and you feel so much stronger and better and instead of people walking away they walk towards you ask you how are you doing give them an honest answer this stuck to my finger even though i shuffled big ellie and it came out again mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There, there's a card that keeps coming up for my readings as well, um, and that's the Empress um, and the Magician. They're coming up a lot. Yeah. So. <clears throat> okay. So um, we're going on to Cancerians now. Okay. So Cancerians, the, the beginning of the week. Um, is about there's been an emotional matter and I feel that you've had to let go you've had to walk away from an emotional situation that has been playing heavy on your heart okay heavy on your shoulders there is a closure okay that has arisen from this it's like that is done now um, it's like I've got a new start or I've got, you know, this is the end of that way. This is now the beginning of this next journey. And I feel that this is um, it's a very strong feeling of stepping forward and away from the old, okay, the old pattern. So there will be a lot of, um, it might be kind of a sadness or a frustration because the old has finished and the new is beginning, there may be a little bit of that. But when you see that there's a rebirth energy, that things are coming to fruition, that you are now in a harvest situation, that you've done all the hard work, and now here comes um, all of the good stuff, okay? So this is going to be um, just easier, easier and simpler. So it's like you're simplifying your life um, at, from this point, okay, because of the changes that have been going on and because that you've decided to let go and walk away from this emotional situation that was just really toxic, okay. Okay, so the, uh, yeah, it feels as if you're going to be very creative. And um, so don't be surprised if you're not trying different things that are different. You know, you've never tried crafts before, but then you do it and you love it. 
um, or you'll you know you usually do craft work and you're finding that you're gonna literally it's gonna take over your life for a little bit um, that morning noon and night that's what you're gonna be doing okay because I'm seeing um, um, being creative okay around you by the middle of the week um, there seems to be some study and learning okay and with this study and learning um, has given you the chance of um, two pathways opening up instead of it just being one there seems to be two now for some of you you would have already done the training and that is then at an end and you've now got in front of you which direction now do you go for others of you um, you've just made that decision that you are going to study and this will give you the options that you need okay so whatever stage you are of that and um, it's going to be that you are putting your time and energy into this um, and this is going to be very important okay to you okay I do feel that there is somebody in authority around you um, there is a character who can be um, a little bit too confrontational and um, they can be a little bit too bossy a little bit too nosy in your life you're not enjoying their attention okay and you're trying to avoid them okay it's like um emotionally you are ready to it's like freeze certain people out of your life or freeze certain people out of you know of, of knowing what you're doing okay so it can be that you're just being a bit more private around certain people because they is the need to know basis they don't need to know what i'm doing they don't need to kind of keep um on at me okay by the end of the week we have the magician card um which is everything is is already been sorted out it's already been planned the it's like your spirit guides your helpers your loved ones have all been steering you into where you need to be right now this is going to feel like um you can't believe that this is happening you, you can't believe it it's like if i hadn't have turned up 10 minutes late i wouldn't have bumped into that person who would have then told me about this um, and then that's changed my life. So it's like all these little coincidences that are happening. So look out for those, especially around the end of this next week for you. Okay, further on to the 10th of October. Um, there is a very a person, or this could be you, I suppose, who is very focused on, I know I'm going in this direction and I can be very blinkered. It's like, this is it, I'm going this direction. I'm very um, sure of myself. And nobody can tell me different it's like i'm seeing you in the heart of a um of a challenge and it's like you know when you're really energized and and excited about this challenge if somebody came along and said stop that can you go and do this that would annoy you because you want completion because you want to get that challenge finished okay so you are really focused on getting that done I'm seeing more money coming in and going out around you. Um, a lot of um, extra finances are, um, it's like an opportunity of extra finances. I think that's what they're saying there. There is somebody around you who you will probably not be talking to. Um, and it's like communication lines have, all, have been a little bit awkward, but now they've kind of stopped. And it's like, I can't, I can't talk to you anymore. I can't communicate with you anymore. So I know that that is sad, but sometimes it's easier to not talk to somebody rather than it be painful every time you see them. Okay, so there you go. That's what I see. Cancerians. So my Megan is a Cancerian, my daughter. Uh, my other daughter, Rhiannon, is Scorpio, and me and mum are Pisces. So we're all water signs. Over to you, Vera. I forget, again, I'm muted. And I felt compelled to switch the deck because the other one kept feeling a bit heavy. So for the Cancerian for upcoming week from October 4th till October 10th, the prediction, 
in the beginning of the week, the card with an easy word, and for some, it's way extremely difficult. They don't like to say no. Sometimes it's important that you do. And it's not that you say no to, no, I'm not going to do it. But you're saying no, but because the timing is off. They strongly advise, wait, postpone, pause, say no. When they ask, if someone asks you, can you help me today while you're already completely full on things you have to do? Don't be afraid to say no, but set a date, I can do it then. So you can work it around. So don't, because sometimes when you, when people ask you, and it's just an example, it's just an idea. They ask you and you say no, or you say yes. And afterwards you feel that thundercloud hanging over you. Why did I agree to it? Because sometimes the best things that come on your path is when you, have, when you have the guts to just say no, to wait. So that storm or that thundercloud can move out of the way and open a path with a lot of sunshine. Towards the middle of the week, the priestess came out. And on both sides, you see the birds, you see the lions. And that tells me it's going to feel more, more balanced. You see also her standing with her hands like, oh, I have to move this way, like this. And in both hands, there's light shining. It's also the healing energy. Because when you have the guts to say no, when it's, you feel it's not the right time, it will open up so you can fill up your batteries, your light can shine up way more. Because under this card, it also says, how are you being called to step up and lead? Now, you can think, well, step up and lead. I'm not a leader. Well, don't think about a crowd. You're leading a crowd. But step up for yourself. Lead your own life. Because when you have the, that, when, you, when you're capable of leading your own life, you're already stepping up for yourself. And that's kickoff at the beginning of the week. When you say no, it'll open up way more for you. And that's all a process of going towards the end of the week. It says birthing a new age that can be put as a life. Birthing new creation, dreaming a new world into being. What is it that you want? What is it that you need in this world to feel whole, to feel happy? Or even because I feel like it's like I have trouble breathing, but when you dream what you want, maybe it's just that you need some space from people because there, I feel some I have a lot of people telling them what to do. I think you should do this. Stay true to yourself. Say no. Let them know this is not the right time for me. I got what you want me to say. I know, I understand what you're trying to do for me. Uh, help me. But right now, and that's stepping up to leadership, your own life, because your heart 
your soul, your whole essence, your whole being knows what good is for you. And when you have to, when you start that kickoff in the beginning of the week, to say no to anyone that invades your space, tells you what to do, you're actually saying yes to who you are. Because as a guidance card, this card came out. It says the eagle. And seize opportunities courageously. Well, how can you see them if a lot of people are hovering over you? But when you take that step back and tell them, wait, I need this time and space. Because then you can see what is the right time. And even when it is the right time to go over to someone, have a cup of coffee and a little chat. Instead of, oh, there comes the next one. There comes the next. Sorry, I'm not home. Only well, maybe you're home, but not to them. That's what I got for cancer next week. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so what do we do now? Who, who is um, in the chat and what are your birth signs? Let us know. Hello, Lisa. Love you too, Mama. <laughs> My mum's saying I'm a bit bossy. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it she was a good change of deck. Yeah, you felt better with that. Yeah. Sometimes just the energy of a, in a month are just too heavy for, for the shame and dreams. Then you just need yeah. more light. Hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So, um, I don't know. Can you remember what Sarah's birth sign is? I don't know what you've got. What your birth signs are, guys. You want to know what mine is? I know yours is Aries. Mm. Yeah. So if we don't hear anything, then we're going to go with Vera's sign. Aquarius. Okay, so funny enough, I've got this already, Aquarius. So I think we'll go with that then. Okay, so, so this is Aquarius. <laughs> and um, so let's see what's going on with with you, okay? So I'm going to need the next second clip for the yeah date. Yes, I can put that in place. Exactly. Okay, so this is for Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with you for this week. The fourth. <laughs> To the 10th of October 2021. Um, I've got spirit touching my hair. So that's nice. It was just here, just touching my hair. I love that. Hi, Annie. Hello, Di. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. So, so this is for Aquarius, those Aquarius people quirky people that you are. Um, let's have a look and see what's going on with you. Okay, so there seems to be money coming in and then money going out. Money in, money out. But this is a large amount of money. It's not your usual money. It's a different amount of money. It's like, um, it's like you get a windfall or, you know, something good happens to you financially, but then a big expenditure happens as well. So that's kind of the energy I've got. Um, there is going to be a new idea though, okay? Like that um, ping moment where you think, oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so it could have come um, that you've got this large amount of money and then you decide, okay? You just um, work out maybe our kind of card. The major arcana card for you guys is the devil. So it's all about mischievousness. It's about being naughty. It's about enjoying life. 
and not thinking about the consequences all the time. Sometimes we need to let our hair down. Sometimes we are too sensible all the time. We need to let our inner child come out and play. And I'm not saying do anything illegal or all that sort of thing, but sometimes it's like, you know, I can't keep being perfect. Do you see what I mean? Um, my inner child is not perfect. My inner child likes to run and play and splash in muddy puddles. Um, and I'm going to let it. Okay, so um, there seems to be a little bit of that going on. Oh, goodness me. Wow. Okay, so, um, so it's indicating that you're, um, there's somebody who's trying to be too controlling in your life. And that's why you want to break um, free. That's why you want to push the barriers down okay that's kind of what is is happening that's why your inner child is really itching to get out because we don't like being told what to do um you know this rules and regulations energy is not doing you any good by the middle of the week we've got the rebirth card which means that it is um rebirth card it means the end of one way of life the beginning of another so new doors are going to be opening to you and old doors will be shutting, okay? So if, if you're needing to move forward, if things are needing to be changed, then, you know, then let, it's like, let it happen. Try not to fight against it, okay? Because this is the way forward um, for you at this particular time. I feel that there's an opening for a job or opening for new work or new money. OK, that is going to be the start okay, of a life path journey. It could be that you are whatever you're doing. There's this is opening up as well as so it doesn't have to be either or. Um, I feel that your spirit guides, your loved ones, your helpers have all been working towards this happening. So this is going to be a very pinnacle point of um, this year, I feel October. OK, it's like everything is slotting into place. Um, and clicking firmly um, in. I'm seeing there's a Pisces energy around you. Now, I know that that seems a bit strange because I'm talking about Aquarius, but if you imagine a Pisces person, they don't have to be Pisces, but somebody who is trying to wear a mask, someone who's trying to pretend to be something that they're not, okay? Um, that can sometimes be due to the fact that they maybe like to please other people. They may be wanting to be liked or loved by others. Um, and sometimes it can be that they are upset or emotional and they don't want other people to know that they are feeling upset or emotional. Um, so like I said, it doesn't have to be a Pisces, um, but it can be somebody who's acting like that, okay? Um, you've got strong psychic ability. This is gonna get stronger and stronger. And, um, also seeing, I don't know how long that stopped for, because it was an inter interruption. Okay, so I'm also, so all I said there was psychic abilities getting stronger and stronger. Okay, holding on to things that, um, things that you don't need anymore. Okay, um, I'm seeing sentimental reasons. Sometimes, it's like there needs to be um, a natural ending and a natural beginning and holding on to the past when the past is no longer relevant in your life or able to be, um, you know, it's not, it's not a, a, available to you is what they're, they're saying to me. Something that's not available to you and you're still holding on, okay? Sometimes it's like I've got to just let that go now, okay? Um, and at the end of the week, um, okay, so the end of the week is to do with your home. It's to do with your home life. It's to do with how you feel about your home, how you feel when you are alone, when no one else is around you. It seems to be everything is a bit upside down. It seems to be a little bit of a, um, it's kind of like in limbo, okay? I'm a bit in limbo. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to look at my life in a different way. Maybe I've been um, feeling as if I haven't got this and I haven't got that, but I'm not looking um, and being grateful for what I have got. 
there is a walking on eggshells time of it around a younger person at the end of this uh, week, this next week. Um, this person is needing you to be more thoughtful about how you talk and how you handle them. And I'm, I'm sensing that you need to meet this younger person or immature person. You need to meet them halfway. So it's like instead of, um, instead of making them feel as if it's all their fault and, you know, pointing the finger, um, I feel that it may be time to actually get down to their level and find out, you know, what's really going on with them. Okay, because it does feel as if there is more going on than they are letting you know. Okay, so um, good luck in hoping to get to the bottom of that situation. So there you go, Aquarius. Over to Vera. Hello. Yeah, the prediction for Aquarius for October 4th to October 10th. For the beginning of the week, I pulled the card, break the chain. And it says under ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. And which tells me that the beginning of the week, it, 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 yeah, it feels like you are ready to get into a new experience, ready to break of all the old patterns you've had in your life, a uh, different way of thinking, looking at things. And I'm, I'm extremely drawn to the orbs on top. It feels like they're orbs. People that, uh, they're watching out of you, for, over you. Uh, don't be afraid to, to that you're going to be stuck where you are at because you're not. Because it's in your future to change the things that you need to change. Uh, yeah, just, I feel you're just ready to break that chain people that have been holding you back and when you do that because towards the middle of the week and you can put that on different situations it advises you to say just say yes just uh, say yes to you you who you are acknowledge Say, acknowledge the pain that everything has been going, you've been going through. Just acknowledge it. Because when you acknowledge it, it's already starting to heal. And when you put that on the first card, break the chain, when you say yes to yourself instead of being ser serving for everyone, taking care of anyone else's needs, when you say yes to yourself, you break the chain of anyone that's telling you, you should not do this. Follow your gut, follow your feelings, follow your soul. Because in the back of your mind, they're telling you there's something better for you. There is, we have a better plan for you. Open up, let it, let it come to you. We'll help you, we'll support you. You got... Even if you think nobody's there for me, you got an extreme big support group. And all they ask, say yes to receive all the good that should be on your path. Because at the end of the week, I got the card. It says, answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? And I feel strongly, sometimes there's something in the back of your mind. Oh, I wish I could do this or that. Because I feel that's where my passion is, where my heart is. Why hold back? Just with your thoughts, put that chain, that train 
I, I better say a train on that correct path, just with your thought, your intention, you're lining up all the energy, lay that track in front of you, what you want. And it can take a while because when you have been pulling a heavy cargo train, it's like you're grinding, it's slowly picking up some pace. But the better you get at acknowledging yourself, saying yes to you, who you are, and what you're called to do, instead of having to discard it, that train, because you are that locomotive, gets stronger. And instead of that you feel it's grinding forward, it's starting to pick up speed it doesn't feel as heavy anymore. And so I think to have an, to hold on to, I pulled the bat card for you. See through illusion into the truth, because that's also on your path. When you can see through illusion, other people's holding up in front of you, it will free you because you see the truth and you can tell people, okay, think of people, you're way too heavy for me. You're keeping me down. The truth is, you see that their truth, in t truth, their true intention is more about keeping you small, keeping you like, oh, yes. Yes, of course, I will do that for you. Yes, I will do this or this. But you're better than that. And I think it's important you take care of yourself before others. Because when you take good care of yourself, you have more energy. And you can use your life experience to help others. That's what I got for Aquarius. Thank you, Julie. Don't sit on the cards, darling. You're just... <laughs> you can knock everything flying. <laughs> I love it. The, the previous one, Miss Charmingly came in, and now it's Mo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a mouthfully. Okay. So. Okay, so this is Gemini, isn't it now? Okay, you knocked that flying. Yep. Okay. So for Gemini's, uh, Gemini's is going to be, um, you know, it's really weird, but I'm seeing for everybody so far, there's been legal matters, legal or official matters. So I wonder if something big's coming on um, this, this month. I wonder if there's something, it's not just for one, or, you know, individual people, there's something big um, that I feel may be coming about. Um, people are seeing things from different angles, and I'm seeing people look, what you're doing as well is seeing things from a different point of view. And that's because the people around you are starting to think on a clearer basis. They're starting to um, analyze what life is about for them. Now that is going to have a knock-on effect to you and to other people um, around you. It's going to be, um, it's like about time. This, this is good. Okay, so there's somebody who has been um, very close to you in the past that has kind of come back into your life or re-entered your life um, from being distant. It could be a person that you normally are around, but you've been distant and they're back around you. So there's a reuniting energy, okay, getting back um, to where you used to be. There has been an um, emotional outpouring um, where emotions have kind of come to the surface and um, they're, they're like flooding out. So don't be surprised if you're not showing signs of, you know, emotional trauma um, around you. And I, I, I don't know another way to say this. 
Um, it could be that you have heard, seen or heard things that you don't want to hear or that you're not ready to hear. Okay, and um, this basically just indicates that sometimes we have to um, we have to see things um, in our own way and process things in our own way. Okay, and this is going to be one of these times. Okay, um, you're going to be in the mode of trusting the universe to do whatever it's supposed to do by the middle of the week. Um, this is all the fourth to the tenth of October, 2021. Um, so it's like leaning back and saying the universe will catch my fall. The universe knows what I need. Okay. Um, watch out for your uh, words because I feel that really what's going on at the moment is a very strong energy of um, it's like trusting in the bigger plan um, is going to be stronger than ever. Okay. At this time. Okay. Leaping off the edge and in, into the unknown, that kind of, um, it's like a quiet stillness inside that says, it's all meant to be. I just know it is. Even though there's chaos all around me, I know it's okay. And as you feel that, everything starts to become clearer and everything starts to be easier because then I'm seeing hopes and dreams and wishes. I'm seeing, you know, the fact that you are now edging towards um, and going towards your own dreams, um, allowing your dreams to actually start to manifest in your mind. Be careful with your words. Um, they keep saying this to me, be careful, because whatever you're saying is going to become a reality. So if you're saying things like, um, like a negative feeling of, you know, oh, that's typical, it always happens to me, or you know, um, why, do, why does this always, always happen? It just, some things we say automatically, we don't realize the consequences, but what we're doing is we're putting that in place for our future. I'm seeing victory and celebration around you guys, um, Gemini's, um, by the middle of <clears throat> next week. Um, it feels as if it's triumph um, and public acclaim people being very proud of you. Um, I'm seeing that you are proud of someone else as well. So I'm hearing the words coming out of, of your mouth as well. Um, and I'm seeing an applause. You know where people are clapping because of an announcement or clapping because of a, a situation that um, has arisen, with, which is good news. You are able to meet people halfway you're able to come to um, a conclusion of, well, it's like, I, I want this to be right, or I want to, um, I want to make amends, you know? It's all to do with fairness, okay, building up inside. By the end of the week, you've got the psychic ability linking with your, um, it's like your higher self is basically working with your psychic ability and you're blending together, becoming the person that you was always meant to be. This, this person with almighty power um, of manifesting exactly what it is that you want. Um, so watch out for the things that start to come towards you um, just when you, um, when you least expect it really. Um, it's all gonna be right in front of you. So you've got the sun card here, which is happiness. Um, you've got the moon card, which is your psychic ability, um, seeing things for what they are. There's also the book is open to you on a spiritual basis, but also emotionally. Um, make sure that you're writing your story um, as a happy ever ending and not as a nightmare. Um, because sometimes we're always looking at what could happen and you know, oh my goodness, this could happen and that could happen. And what about this and what about that? What you're doing is you're writing the end of your story. Do you not realize um, this could be the worst thing that you could possibly do is by keep seeing things as a dead end and not good. Okay, so it's like, oh, that, that might be bad, but it's going to get better. Um, everything's going to, you know, come, um, come right in the end. 
So always end your comments with the poverty. Make sure that you don't stay in that energy of, you know, doom and gloom. Okay. So there you go. That's what I see for general. What do you do? Well, I got some interesting cards for the Gemini for a prediction October 4th through to October 10th. At the beginning of the week, I pulled a card, Many Mass, The Authentic Self. And while I read it, I heard the word, it's going to be a quest for you to get more on top of your true self, on your authentic who you are. And I also hear, I hear them say, it's about you've been shedding all the things, all the layers, or at least a lot of them, of what people try to condition you at, who you, who they think you should be. But you knew, deep down, it's not me. But who am I? No, that's not me. So you rip that page off, that page off. And I see literally throwing those pages in a wood fire. Burn it off because that's not me. And it feels like, oh, I am opening up way too much. But that's just the beginning, and it 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 starts for the beginning of of the week that you get stronger at it. That you're gonna think, oh, I'm not going to hide more, more that much because by the middle of the week, I feel compelled to stay with stranger curious curiosity. You're going to be able to break free. You're curious. Who am I? Who, where I want to go? This, it's, it's like, okay, I, I have been shedding all those layers that people wanted me. And still, they want to try to push you to the way you were. But I feel you're, and I'm extremely drawn on, on the, on the fireballs, the, 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 the red, like you're throwing your, like your spirituality is going to kick. I think a lot of you haven't been realizing you are extremely spiritual. And, but that's also the reason why people didn't want you to be the true you. Because you can see through their lies, through the, 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 BS some people are trying to project and towards the middle of the week it it feels like something magical happens gets on your path or that you wake up and realize you're in a walking in a situation I've been here I know what this person is going to say I know when that person is going to do this. That is a part of psychic ability. When people say you cannot know this, you do. Trust it. It's okay. And yes, it will be a little bit heavy because I feel to the end of the week, it's going to be pretty emotional. Because it's going to feel like a root girl, the disowned self. They, the way you grow up, and, and, and I don't think it's for everyone, but some certainly will have the feeling all of a sudden like, oh my God, I can feel who I truly am. Why did they take that away from me? With all the experience you've been through in your lifetime, 
And when you have that have also feel with the last car, the root curl, the disowned self, is the kick off of fooling, healing yourself. Because you can heal yourself way better than others can. They think they know who you are. The only person that really knows is you. And as an advice for the whole week, from the Archangel animal deck, the dolphin came out. Live joyfully in the present. Of in, uh, yeah, in the present. And that means, yeah, a lot of things may be taken, and I do it like this, have been taken away from you. But it's also about experiencing things that can bring you further. That you can help someone. You see someone walking. Head down. Heavy on the shoulders. You recognize it because you've been through there, that. And yes, that person might not be able to talk. But you, just when you say, good day. Or wishing you a good day. Bless you. Or just acknowledge that you can see them walk. And they might give you a bad face. Like, oh, shut up. Because they're not used to compliments. You can think, I know what that feels like. And it's all preparation to bring you to a point in your life that you are capable of achieving great things for yourself and others. And yeah, live in the now. Don't look too much back at the past. Don't look too far in the future. And when you project that to an animal, they don't worry what's gonna, what the next day is gonna bring. They don't look back, oh my God, it, it damaged me big time back then it's still hurting yeah you've experienced it but you've gotten through it they live in that moment because everything you went through has molded you into a person that is strong is powerful knowledgeable and you might not see it but it's there and coming time and I feel that that will grow way past the upcoming week that you are up, going up and it feels still like a mountain but that's your you growing towards who you truly are that's what I got for Gemini Hmm. How do you eat your crackers, Vera? Do you have butter and cheese, or do you just have cracker and cheese? I don't eat butter. Oh. Especially, except very special, old-fashioned butter, real butter, green butter on a cracker, maybe with some salt or... I'm, I'm doing, um, I'm having crackers and cheese because I fancied crackers and cheese. So I, I know- did, I I'm didn't get to the store today. Oh. <laughs> I'm aware that the video is cutting out a little bit. Okay, there's been some interruptions. Okay, so I am sorry about that. Maybe okay. restart the router, the, the modem, when that's you're done. Gonna delay every, it's going to delay everything, isn't it? So. Another, another time, when you're done, oh, just yeah. restart it. Okay, so this is for Libras, okay? This is um, my rising sign, and it's also Greg is a triple Libra. Okay. Okay, so we've got the star. Okay, the star is all about <clears throat> your dreams. Okay, so with the beginning of the week is all about your dreams. It's about focusing on 
your what it is that you is going to make you happy what it is that you want what is it you see you doing okay um and focusing on that and and really projecting your mind forward okay there is some good news coming from um, a work situation or a money situation. This, this kind of good news is going to be um, good for a lot of people and not just you. So this news is what everybody has been waiting for and everybody has been, you know, um, it's been long time coming. Okay, that's what they say, it's long time coming. By the middle of the week, um, They want me to go back. There is also something to do with an emotional person at the beginning of the week. I'm seeing an immature person, a person who is very, um, they can be, they push people away when they actually need them. Okay. And I'm sensing that there is sharp words around this person, this energy. And you know, when it's like, do you want me to come close to you or do you not? You know, do you need my help or do you, would you rather me go? You're not going to know whether to go forward or back. You're not going to know what to do. I can see somebody talking about rerouting and moving, okay? Um, and I'm seeing there being signs of um, action being taken. Well, this is what we need to do, okay? It's like, um, it's like organization skills going on around that. But there is somebody who's got a, a sharp tongue, like I said, this person can be very abrupt and can be very, um, you know, they'll tell you what they think, okay, there and then, all right? So they can sometimes, it's difficult to get your point across with this person, okay? Because they've always got something to say to everything. They're very one-minded and won't enter into anything else, okay? I feel that there's a feeling of kind of drifting away a little bit from, um, this person <clears throat> because it's like I don't know what else to do exactly um, to feed you by the middle of the week the wheels are turning we've got a double wheel okay so we've got um, the wheel in the light field tarot and in the cosmic deck we've got the wheel as well so you've got two wheels which means everything is working out well okay everything is moving in the right direction um, we've got links with official stuff, official meetings, official paperwork. Um, it's all to do with kind of um, the red tape I'm seeing and official stuff um, happening um, along the lines. Um, if I didn't know better, I would say that the beginning of this week, um, we're going to see a well and true end to some of the restrictions that we've all been in. There seems to be something massive that has, is changing, okay, um, around this time. And it's like there's a lot of cheers and a lot of, um, it's like a, you know, when somebody is fighting and they've, they've won, does that make sense? It's like I'm seeing, you know, cheers and, and well done and that's great. Okay, so I don't know where that comes in. That's coming in linking with global energy there. Um, for individual people, um, Libra, you've got a meeting that you need to attend um, or an appointment. Um, this appointment is going to be, is going to go very well. And I feel that this, um, it's like everything is put into place um, perfectly. Everything is, is running very, very well. Okay. Um, so there's no holdups. That's what they're telling me. There's no holdups. Okay, to do with emotions, make sure that you don't uh, worry un unnecessarily about situations that are out of your control, because it's indicating that everything is okay, everything is working out um, the way that it's supposed to, okay? By the end of the week, Belibrans, um, <clears throat> you've got the temperance, which is about the balance, and I feel that you're getting the balance back in your life. And, and away from it's like there's been a strong feeling of that, that it's been it's been all about work and not enough 
playtime, not enough down, down time. And um, this is going to be turning around um, and becoming a lot easier, okay, um, at, this, at this point. Okay, there's somebody who you would normally be talking to and you're not talking to them. And I feel this person has been letting you down. Uh, this person has been treating you with disrespect. Um, it's like, I, don't, I just don't know what to say to you anymore. I feel as if I am now done, okay? Um, this person has got either a temper or they've got, they can change their mood. Their mood is very, very different from one moment to the next. And it can happen without you noticing, okay? It's like one minute, they're fine. Next minute, it's like got this, this kind of angriness around them. I feel that there's an emotional kind of backing away coming from the, this person and yourself and you will end up letting go um, from them. But on the whole, I'm seeing victory, celebration and achievement, okay? And I don't want that to fade away um, with these little um, misunderstandings, you know I mean, that might be going on this next week because this, this joy that I feel, <clears throat> especially with the wheel, everything keeps going really, really well. So um, that's what I see um, for the 4th through to the 10th of October 2020. And over to Vera. Well, the prediction for Librans for the upcoming week, 4th of October till 10th of October. For the beginning of the week, the horseman, the herald of chains comes out. And I hear the words like, beginning of a week, you're ready for battle. But a positive one, not a nasty one, not an ugly one. But like you're saying, okay, I've been working on myself, I've been healing a lot, and I'm ready to make the changes to uh, that I need to become the true me. It, you're ready to pull out into, uh, into the world about the things you really want. Um, I'm extremely, because the, the, the manes of the horse are, he's so wild, it's, and the wind wraps it around him. And when you look under the arm, that light, that gives a little bit the idea of a heart shape. Like your passion is opening up. It's, it's, it's there, ready to take on what you need to do. And towards the middle of the week, and this one co has come up a couple of times already. And it tells you, you're a deep diver, diving into a task. And I hear the words like, oh, I can linger and, and can wait a long time. Should I do it? Should I not do it? Or, But when you get into it, you go in. And nobody can take you away from that task you are taking on. But because at the beginning of the week, you have the horseman, herald of change, it will be in a different way. It's not like you get into that task and then when you d have finished it, they just think like, okay, I need another week, two weeks to recover from this because I have overdone it. You still dive, will dive, be diving deep into what you need to do. If that is taking care of yourself or taking for some, someone else around you or animals or whatever. It will be met with more ease. It will not be like, okay, I'm doing this. It's a, a task that would take two hours and I'm going to do it in 30 minutes. 
takes two hours, it takes two hours, it takes a week, it takes a week. So you were doing that with getting your breath back, getting your energy, so you can continue to fully finish it and be ready for the next one. And towards the end of the week, and I am drawn to say, that's how you're going to feel. Like, it says the watches. Like you're on the top of that mountain, and when they look really good, it's a, pe a person that is looking over the edge. Well, you all said I couldn't do it, but I'm doing it. I'm there. I have cl climbed this big mountain. And by reaching that top for yourself, it has changed you as a person because you feel differently. Like you accomplish something, accomplish something big. Because you can dive in a into a task very deep, very connected. And then when it's done, well, what I've done, I did it, but that's about to change for you. More, you'll feel more like I really accomplished something. Because when you do a task in a deep way and you look at what you do, because sometimes you have to look, oh, well, I did a really good job. Don't overthink. Oh, I could have done this better or this. You did it from your heart. And anything you do from your heart is good. And towards the end, well, a little bit of guidance or advice card. Uh, the cat came out. And a cat, well, a cat has servants. They adopt the owner and not the owner to adopt the cat. So you can be like a cat. You have people around you that can help. And it advises you, be relaxed and independent. You don't have to rely on other people to get something done. Yeah, maybe with heavy lifting, but you don't have to rely on them. And with that, I mean, say, I need some heavy lifting to do. They cannot do it today. No problem. You can still do something else. And it can still that job of heavy lifting get done, but in a time that suits both of you. So be relaxed and independent. And I'm so drawn at the red, at the center where the heart is. Shining bright because anything you'll do will come from your heart. And when you stay true to it, you can accomplish anything you can, you will, and you want. That's what I got for Librans for the upcoming week. And there's Ellie back. Yes. Yay! Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So I thought we'd do fire signs now. What do you think? Sounds good. Sounds fine with me. Okay, so. We're at the middle. Leo. Leo. Did you even make that stick as well? What? Make, did you make that stick as well? I laminated it. No, the stick. Yeah. You made it. That's really clever. I can't find those you have. I'll probably have to wait till Christmas when you have all those Christmas cards again. Oh. Well, then I'll make it myself. I like those ones. They're lovely. With a key ring, so it's still... Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so Leo, this is for you. Okay, for the 4th to the 10th of, of October 2021. 
Okay, um, we're starting off with the fall, okay, energy. Now the fall energy, it feels fresh, it feels new, and it's a, it's a feeling of, it's like I know I'm doing the right thing. It might not seem that way to other people, but I know. So this is what the week is gonna be about, the start of the week. Okay, that's the feeling, okay? It's like I'm doing the right thing. Now, once again, I've already given this prediction, but I'm gonna give it again because that's what's happening uh, with you guys. There's money coming in and then money going out, okay? It can be that there's a lack of money and then there's a large amount of money. I don't know which way around it is for you guys, um, but I'm seeing the money, lack of money, and it could be lack of money and then money. So let's hope it's lack of money and then money so that you don't have to, you know, have money go in and out, okay? So you're becoming much more independent um, now, more independent than you've been for a long time. Um, and this feeling is going to feel exactly right for you, okay? So you are, it's like um, starting things off, doing things, doing things differently. It's like I used to do them this way, but now I'm doing them that way, okay? Um, it's a bit like, you know, when you, you feel as if I, I can't do things the way that I used to do, and I didn't, feel, I didn't feel respected. And because I didn't feel respected, um, it had bad energy. So, um, you know, it might be a shock to other people, um, but I'm going to be saying no, and I'm going to be doing things for myself now. Okay, it's going to be very, very strong, and it might be shocking for other people. Okay, but it's important at this time. So um, that's how it's going to start off for Leo's. By the middle of um, by the middle of the week, um, the middle of the week, we've got the Tower. This is basically about you know, things being shaken up in your life. So if things weren't on good vibrations, if they weren't on, you know, if, if things hadn't been organized properly in certain areas of your life, you would know that um, it needs a shake up, okay? It just needs a shake up. So things aren't going to be as smooth as they were um, and this is because there's a need for um, other changes to happen. And sometimes if, you know, it, it, it's like no changes would ever happen if we didn't actually um, stir things up, okay? If we didn't kind of have a bit of a shake up. Um, there seems to be a relationship around you. Um, this could be your direct relationship or it could be a relationship close to you. Um, and I feel that there is a lot of kind of it's a bit like analyzing this. So if there has been some way that this relationship um, has needed work, okay, it's like, well, that didn't work out very well. And, you know, maybe I've been taking that person for granted or maybe they've been taking me for granted. Um, it's like, we need to analyze this. We need to work on it. It can't just stay the way it is. So um, this is definitely, um, improvement okay within this partnership within this relationship okay so it's, uh, it's important i'm seeing study around okay and learning new skills um this will boost the confidence okay it will make you feel um more um, more complete and happy with your life sometimes if life is a bit boring um, and nothing is changing the trouble with that is that we then analyze our relationships and we analyze other things and we create something that sometimes isn't that bad, but we make it out to be worse because we're picking holes at it. Okay, so sometimes keep yourself busy, have some fun and try not to analyze and, uh, and expect perfection from everybody else because it does get uh, disappointing. Okay, and the end of the week is about chariot, so it's about racing ahead and going forward um, to in the right direction. 
So this can be about weighing up the pros and the cons. This can be about, you know, I've got to pick a side. Okay, it could be picking a side in an argument. It could be picking a side, um, you know, I've got to do this job or this job, or I need to concentrate on this rather than that. Okay, um, I feel that there is um, some money around this or money decisions, money um, sorting out of money, okay, around this. So um, I'm seeing some sort of training or stepping onto new ground regarding money matters and finances. Um, this will feel as if, you know, I'm out of my, I'm out of my depth a little bit, you know, um, have I made right decisions, kind of question marking, you know, um, the decisions that you are making, because there's been some massive changes and shifts around, okay, this, um, this next week for you guys. <clears throat> to do with your home, your home, there is some changes linked with your home as well. I'm seeing somebody around you who wants everything put back the way it was. Everything has to be in perfect harmony, in perfect uh, order. It's got to be this, it's got to be that. To some sense, everything has to be just right. Okay, so there's a little bit of, um, it's like harmony needs to be restored um, in many areas of your life. A shape up is, is coming. Um, and then after you, if you get through this next week with kind of positivity, you know that it's not going to last very long. But if we start getting anxious and we start kind of going down into, you know, woe is me and feel sorry for me, then it's going to last that bit longer. Okay, whatever is going on. Okay, so that's what I see for Leo's. This is um, Greg's daughter, actually, Leo's. So, and Sharon Poe. Can't remember who else is a Leo. <coughs> Me neither. Okay. Over to you, Vera. Yes. I do. I think you're going to like the card. For Leo's, for the beginning of the week, I feel it's going to be all about inspiration, the joyful muse. Like you are going to, it's a very funny card, with a cat, a violin, somehow, I, 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 I feel compelled that somehow in the beginning of the week you think, well, I always wanted to be a little bit more creative and you're just going to do it. And creativity, it can be on any level, just like painting your house. That's creative. Or just in your head, you have those ideas that, that, that just pop up and, and that needs to be worked out. But it's, it's going to be, it's about joy. It's about having fun, about yeah, inspiration. All of a sudden you have those ideas like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. But I feel compelled to say, write them down the minute they come up. Just have a little notebook with you because I think they're going to be, when you go out for a walk, just, just walk around. Oh my, yep, I'm thinking of this. Just write it down because it might be yeah, like you, when you get home or just sit down, I forgot what I was thinking about. So when you have, even if it's only a keyword on paper, you can start thinking about it when you're, when you, yeah, when you just come and then you can work the ideas a little bit more out. And towards middle of the week, I got the sky dancer and it says surrender. <clears throat> and I feel it it feels like you wanted to do something all the time and no, I'm not going to do it. Like just you hear some music on the street every time you feel like you want to dance. I'm so happy. I'm going to move on the music, but music and then you think, oh, all those people watch. Well, maybe you should give yourself 
permission to surrender to that feeling and just go for it. If you feel like dancing, do it. If you feel like walking, do it. If you feel like, okay, today I would love to be, stay in my bed, surrender to the feeling. Because I feel, I hear the words, you're going to need it. In the future, you're going to need the ability to surrender of what you feel or what you do. Some has to do with spirituality and some just has to do with bringing out your true self, your true essence, your true being. And towards the end of the week, and you can put that on many things, and Ellie mentioned already, so it's also going to be about confidence, sacred contract. And on on the on the scroll it says just says contract and there's nothing written written in it it's completely blank at this point but somehow i feel there's something going to be filled in that will serve you that will bring you things that you need and Ellie mentioned about finances. So this could also be you ha get a contract for, for something really good, for a really great job that brings the whole week about inspiration and just surrender to it, that it could be you get a job or, or some something that gets on your path that will Bring, help you financially but you can work f straight from your heart and I have to also say don't depend on others to do it for you because you're the biggest director of your of your life you are the leader of your own life Nobody else can lead it because you're living it. Because the advice card, that's the second time the cat came out, be relaxed and independent. And I hear the words, please don't care what other people think or feel or say. You're important. Yes, you can acknowledge them. It's not about when you say you don't care about someone else's feeling that it leaves you cold or, or not empathic. But sometimes you have to take a little step back so you can replenish, so you can find out what are your own feelings and what is not, because you can keep it out. You can support them another better in a better way. So be relaxed and independent. Some pe sometimes you hear people say, oh, uh, sometimes I wish I was a cat. Just the way they sleep all day, not a care in the world. Well, when they sleep, they're also cleansing themselves. So sometimes it's just taking a breather Taking a break like a cat can help you bring out the best in you. That's what I got for Leos. No, oh, good. I'm just watching my cat sleeping as you were saying that. <laughs> <laughs> She's like not got a care of the world. Nothing. Everything's done for him. He's all good. He definitely chooses who he wants to, who he wants though. It's he's chosen two, two owners he's chosen. Yeah. Yep. No, oh, hello Donna. Hello Donna. And hello Neves. I don't know if that's the right time. 
right the right way to say your name and Tamara hello Tamara Brianne lovely oh got someone else has missed there Anino okay right so uh, we're doing Sagittarius now I've got Sagittarius moon um so this is for me as well okay so things are going to be a bit upside down at the beginning of the week uh, for you guys. Um, I'm seeing the hanged man come up at the beginning of the week. Um, it feels as if there's an emotional kind of, um, it's like you've agreed to disagree with somebody. Um, I want to show you the card because obviously we know that there's a lot of divide going on at the moment. So I want you to know that I'm not just making this up. That's what that means. Okay, so you know when somebody is saying, um, black is black and, and someone else will say no there's gray areas um so that's basically what that is it's like um agreeing to agreeing that there are um misunderstandings and it's okay you know it's like you think you're right and i think i'm right and so let's get this balance so that rather than falling out i can see this um being a lot easier to get on with okay, this person, because of this conversation. We're gonna be kind of leaping forward emotionally. Um, it's like you're ready to get closer with this particular person. Now this can be a friend, this can be a partner, this can be a family member, but I'm seeing you kind of um, taking that chance on making this work, taking that chance on emotional, kind of um, reconnections, okay? Getting back together uh, with somebody that you had been estranged from. Um, I am seeing that the obstacles are not completely gone, um, but it's not, uh, it's not um, unreasonable to believe um, that, you know, there's something to work on. It's like, you've got the foundations there. Um, you, you love this person or you, really like this person and therefore you know it's worthwhile um there has been somebody who's been doing some it, it feels as if it's you know when someone's been intervening and and kind of going going against the other person to some extent it feels as if this person needs to kind of back off it's like just back off and leave us to it um, this person, you know, isn't being reliable at all, okay? This person might not like the fact that you both are getting on, okay? They might be kind of um, a bit jealous there. There could be some insecurities. By the middle of the week, um, it's about the hermit, so it's about your home. It's about you being alone and how you feel when you are alone. I'm seeing that somebody is coming into your life. It's been like a gift. Okay, it's been a gift that you um, was wanting. It's a bit like getting something that you've wanted for a long time. You've been wishing for it and there you are. The universe is supplying it to you. Okay, so I'll show you the card again. Okay, but it's a, the universe is saying, here you go. You know, and this could be a person or this could be uh, something. Um, it's a gift. And I know that it's a, there's a celebration around this gift where you will be kind of jumping up and down and saying, oh, my God, this is really happening. Um, this is great. You know, perfect timing. This is exactly what I needed and when I needed it. OK, so I'm definitely seeing a get together with either drinks or get together with um, lots of laughter OK, around you. There seems to be a very strong female around you also in the middle of this week. This person, they can bring people together. And it's like you might not enjoy the people that they're bringing together, but you wouldn't dare say no to them. Just, I mean, there's a, there's a strong energy with this person. This person, I think, is vibrant. They're happy-go-lucky. Um, there's a lot of good qualities about this person. This person, it's like they magnetically draw people to them. OK, and they're an organiser. OK, so this person is strong, OK, um, in your life. 
by the end of the week, you've got a lovely card, you've got the sun. Okay, and I do like, like the Light Seers Sun card. It is amazing, it's very, very pretty. Okay, the Sun card. Okay, so this means like um, the sun is shining in your life. Um, you're also feeling a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, okay, and a lot of fun um, around you. Emotionally, it's like you're building up new relationships, you're building up new energy, new um, new feelings, okay? And these feelings are going to be, it's like you can't really um, describe how you're feeling because of the happiness that you've got around you. Um, I'll show you the card, okay? It's like you're really letting your hair down and really just being yourself. Um, and it's like you've got your eyes closed. You don't care who's watching. You don't care if nobody's watching. You're just being in the moment. You're just enjoying that. There may be some move. Um, talks about moving, rerouting, okay, around you as well. This doesn't have to be you um, particularly. It could be somebody connected to you who is talking about moving, okay, but um, it's not moving because of a bad situation. It's just moving. Okay, so there you go. That's what I see the Sagittarius. Over to you. Okay. Well, what I got for the uh, Sagittarius for the upcoming week, for October 4th to October 10th. And yeah, maybe when you look at that card that you think, oh, MG, all these, because the first card came out, a horned cactus. But it's more about the word beyond, be, uh, that's under it, resourcefulness. Because it's not about being like a bulldozer. This is what I want. I'm going to get it all out of the way because then you get stung. Because if you do that with a cactus, it will have the needles that are pretty painful. But when you think about the situation, you know, you feel you have to be, you have to have the knowledge or the information to bring it gentle, but show them you know what you're talking about. Be resourceful. Find ways around it because when you pick up a cactus with those uh, many needles that can sting in your hand, when you pick them up the right way, you don't have a problem. It does, those needles don't get into your skin when you do it properly. That's also with any type of situation you get into. You might get in an argument with a person in the shop because they had a bad day. But when you know how to stay calm, you can calm that person down without a, you saying a word, just by using your breath. Wait till they're done with blowing off the steam, and then you tell you your side of the story. And that's what I just said, it's just an example. So even though you have the horned cactus, it's only to tell you, just keep an eye out, be gentle, take a good look and be resourceful how you handle certain situation. And towards the middle of the week, yeah, and yes, it does feel a little bit heavy. Dream thief, refusal of the call. There's something in your heart you're longing for. You know that's the right step, the right path, the right action, maybe even the right words. And 
you think, who am I to say that? Who am I to do it? And what you do in reality is steal your own dream away from you. And that is what they call refusal of the call. When it is in your heart, it's in your mind all the time. When you put that on top of the cactus, be resourceful. How can I reach it? Because don't, when it's in your heart, it is on your path. And the whole world can tell you it's the wrong one. Nope, it's not because it's your passion your compassion, your empathy towards that, what you want to do. And yeah, towards the end of the week, because, and I see a lot of people t around trying to push you back, don't do it. While well, you feel, and you've just decided, I'm not going to steal my own dream. I am going to answer that call, my true call from the heart. And then all of a sudden, oh, why would you do that? And that will make you feel like you're a lost compass. But because you're starting to honor your own self, your own needs, your own wants, your own true essence, instead of seeing or feeling like you're a lost compass, compass, that feeling is in the fact a way that is pushing you back to integrity, integrity to yourself. Who are you? Who, who you truly are? And yes, with these cards together, it will be, I feel, a pretty challenging week for some of the, the, the Sagittarius. And this wanted to out big time. Rhinoceros, be strong and courageous. They can move slow, but they also can surprise you with their speed. And when you put that on all the cards throughout the week, they walk around and only that what's in their sight that moves, they see. And when you focus on that, anything else around you is not important. And that what you see in your eye of vision is the way to go for you. Slow, steady with strength and courage, you will get there. And, and uh, that, uh, then you can t tap yourself on the shoulder. I did a great job. I honored my true essence. I honored my, at, in, my own integrity. That's what I got for Sagittarius for upcoming week. It was in a way really heavy and still it's about the strength and the courage they have. Um that's for me. I'm doing I'm I'm a Sagittarius, so yep. We'll see what happens. <laughs> it will be what it will be, isn't it right? Things happen for a reason. They do. Okay, so this is Aries now. So this is yours, isn't it? Yeah. Did you see him refuse? <laughs> Pardon? Try to put it in. All the others I just do. Blink. This one went. Nope. 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 Yes, now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The so starting off, of Aries. Of the Aries. Beginning, the beginning of the week for Aries is strength. Okay. 
So you're going to feel very, very strong. OK, you're going to have a lot of courage and a lot of strength to do. And it's determination to get where you want to go, to do what you want to do. OK, it's like that's not going to stop me. If you think that's going to stop me, it's not. Okay, so I feel as if there's an element of being free, needing to be free, needing to be um, not held down or held back from doing what it is that you naturally want to do. Okay, so um, you there's a lot, a lot linking to your. Um, how can I put it? It's it's just sheer determination, and I feel this is linked with. Um, an ambition that you have, okay? And I do feel that there is going to be a celebration of because of this um, sheer strength that you've had. A lot of recognition and reward will be coming your way because I feel that there has been a big battle, okay? Um, and a way, this, this is like you, people thought that you wouldn't get through it. People thought that that would be it, that that would floor you that you wouldn't be able to get up from the ground, okay? But your sheer strength and determination actually um, surprised yourself as well, okay? And it's like, no, I'm still here. I'm still determined. I haven't let go of my dream. I am still um, going for it, okay? There seems to be a spirituality about you that is just growing and growing and growing, okay? There is no stopping that. OK, and you are able to um, be very. It's like. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's like you're giving yourself more time to be spiritual. OK, so it's like to develop your spiritual side. You know, it could be that you're meditating more. It could be that, you know, when you're driving about in your car, you're no longer, um, you know, got the radio on. You know, maybe you're, you're just going to sit back and, and drive the car and just think and just allow your guides to talk to you. OK, there seems to be something that goes missing at the beginning of the week, which is something that you really, really need, really want. And I will say that sometimes there's mischievous spirit energies around you. Um, I call them kind of fairy elemental energies. Um, so you might have to get tough with them and say, hold on a minute. You need to give that back now. You know, that is, um, it's not yours. Give it back. Okay. By the middle of the week, we have the justice card. So this is all about um, legality, legalities, um, official paperwork, contracts, signatures, um, and, and such. And I feel that this is linked with your independence, being independent, uh, feeling as though, you know, you are more in control now than you have been for a long time. You have actually started to fall in love with yourself. You've started to say, do you know what? I know who I am and I like who I am. And if you don't like who I am, I don't care. That's your choice. That's up to you. Um, so you're quietly confident, not in a cocky way, but in a, um, a down to earth kind of way. You know, knowing yourself. Um, there seems to be a little bit of a complex um, emotional matter. And now for some of you, this will be love life. And for others of you, this will be, um, an you know, it will be kind of a family matter or friendship. But it seems to have got very complicated. And I'm sensing that nobody wants to listen to the other person's side of things. Nobody wants to talk. Nobody wants to kind of understand or, you know, compromise in, in any way at all. And there's a lot of stubbornness around this. Um, this isn't going to resolve itself very quickly, I'm afraid. It seems to be um, that there's a strong, um, very strong high emotions around it. The end of the week, everything is still in limbo. And I feel this is to do with the, this relationship um, issue. You are trying to see things though at this point um, from a different um, angle, from a different point of view. You're trying to see it from their point of view. So you're not being as stubborn as you were the, the, um, in the middle of the week. You've kind of softened a little bit um, and you're not sure if the other person has or hasn't softened yet. 
because again, I'm not seeing any communication. It feels as though we're in separate worlds. Um, you're living your world, I'm living my world, and we're not exactly very amused or happy, okay, either one of us. You are going to be able, and you're going to realise this, I'm able to look at the past, the present and the future all at the same time, which basically indicates psychic ability. So your intuition is right. All you have to do is to trust it. Um, I'm seeing a very strong character who, if they want something, they will keep uh, ramming at it until they get it, which is basically the ram is Aries, isn't it? So it could be part of your nature um, to not give up, to say, I'm going to keep going and keep going and keep going. You know, so if you wanted this relationship to be sorted out, I do feel that there can be a pushiness about you. OK, once you've decided to meet this person halfway, um, it's like you want them to um, it's like you want them to meet you in that halfway mark. I feel that there is um, an energy of being spoiled or selfish around this. I'm hearing those words, you're spoiled, you're selfish, um, which obviously isn't the greatest um, if you want him to get things back on track it's not going to work very well if you do say that to each, each um, either one of you um, so it, I feel that the the feeling is that you need to kind of see things from the other person's point of view and um, don't lose sight in the fact that both of you are very similar both of you are stubborn and that sometimes there has to be somebody who can um, be the bigger person and to start the ball rolling but once everything is in communication then don't cock it up by bolshiness you see what I mean or or by joking about too quickly because it might um ignite the fire again okay so there we go over to Vera yes okay I'm Aries myself and for the prediction for upcoming week, it kicks off with a, I think it's a beautiful card. Because when you get situations on your path over and over again, it's about, well, it says crown games, right use of power. And areas are strong people strong-minded and with that card right use of power you have so much power in yourself that when you hold them back eventually it's going to explode but when you have the, when you have learned that when you use it in the right amount of uh, yeah, just in the right amount of, of strength, match it with what with the situation you're in. You have so much power that the people think, okay, I better listen to that person because they know the stuff. <clears throat> so all the teaching you get on your path is all about how you ha can use all the power that you have inside because you are strong and most are more way more powerful than they think and towards the middle of the week it's also about letting things slide letting it go a little because Every Aries has his own garden of Venus. Rest and renewal. Sometimes you just need a break from the world. Just be yourself. Don't linger on things. Just shut it out. Because in your own garden of Venus, it has, you get a chance to clear out all the things that doesn't belong in your system. Emotions. Or, or 
attitudes or anything that doesn't is not you and there's a way you can do that just by saying anything that doesn't belong to me that's not part of my energy i'm gonna send it back to sender you don't hurt anyone with it because you're sending it with love but it gives you a chance to find out what is your emotion and what is other one other people's emotions rest and renewal renewal because that's all in preparation when you you have learned to use your power correctly in the right way and you take your breaks to rest in a renewal you're gonna get the opportunities you'll have the caterpillar because they wait with the right time to break free from their cocoon and when you can break free of that cocoon there are a lot of opportunity, opportunities in front of you. And the only thing you have to do is pick them up to be able to move forward to the things that are serving you in the right way. And then you can feel very proud of yourself because sometimes the biggest challenge when you are so powerful, spiritual, maybe spiritual powerful, spiritual or a healer which is a extreme power but when you give too much you drain yourself but when you know how to do that the right way all opportunities will be on your path and the advice card that i was told to pull before we started all this because that's what every aries has Yep. It's the goat. And it says, act from your innate wisdom. Because what you, you don't know it, maybe sometimes some people think they don't know how much wisdom they have. But you have it when, when you act from your own wisdom. You can only be proud of yourself because people will start listening when they haven't listened to you in the, throughout your life all of a sudden they start to realize that person knows their stuff they know what they're talking about they're not here to take over they're not here to downgrade another they know so much that with the, maybe even just telling their story, they can help others. And yeah, some will know already about my situation in my house, what's been going on. Why keep it in? Because your story could help another see that they're not alone. And that can be on any level. That's what I got for Aries. Hello. <laughs> You're a very brave lady. A very brave and determined lady. You don't give up easily, that's for sure. No, that's what I've learned all over, all over those years. Mm. And that said, it's not about the times you've been falling down. Maybe even smack your face in cow dung or anything like that. You just yeah. wipe it off and you go on. Yes, you can have a cry. That's okay. That's your rest and renewal. Your garden yes. of Venus. And then they think, well, yesterday... She was all over all emotions, and now she's sitting in front of me and telling me exactly what needs to be done. OMG. Yep. That's Aries for you. 
a force to be reckoned with. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, Taurus people, let's have a look what's going on with you. Okay, so the beginning of the week for you, Taurians. Okay, so things seem to be a little bit like you're waiting and waiting and waiting for this to happen and this to happen and this to happen. That is going to get a little bit tiresome, okay, because you are now facing an obstacle. You have got the tower, which is, it's like everything is shaking, okay. It's like it's going to come down. My world is going to come tumbling down around my shoulders if I don't get this sorted out and if I don't get a break soon okay there will be a strong feeling about this now it's it's like you need help at this beginning of the week but you are pushing it away so part of you is trying to say you don't need it you don't deserve it you don't want it and and that is going to be difficult for your guides because your guides may have brought you somebody or a situation into your life and because of your stubbornness you won't see it or you won't accept it okay or you'll feel that there is um a twist you know it's like well if i accept that then i'm gonna have to do this it's like uh, no it's not always that way sometimes it is just um you know just a kind gesture okay coming your way so there's an indication that you have to think clearly okay about who you reject and why okay um so the the um okay they just wanted me to go back and tell you um some how does it okay in the past you have helped other people in the past and you've done it out of the kindness of your heart for no other reason other than a kind gesture. How did that make you feel? And if that made you feel good, then you are depriving someone else of making a, a feeling good about helping you. Okay, that's how, that's just what they want to say. There's somebody from your past that is re-entering your life or it's a relationship that is coming into um, a better and a, a brighter um, connection. It's like you're getting on better, you're seeing things better, you're seeing eye to eye, you're understanding what each other um, is, is wanting and needing um, before they've even asked for it. So um, there's a mixed kind of emotions there. There are obstacles and there are things that are crumbling around you but there is some strength coming from a relationship, okay? For some of you, that will be love life. For some, for others of you, that will be a friendship or a family member that is coming back into your life. Um, by the middle of the week, we've got the high priestess energy, which means it's like um, a quiet um, knowledge that will be, that will come about after they're be after it's been hidden away. So it's like, you know, when you've needed to know something and it's been tearing you apart because you needed to know, and then all of a sudden that it's revealed and you now know what the situation was or, you know, the secret is un un unveiled. Um, now, sometimes it's like, did I, now I know, is that okay? Did I really want to know? Um, you know, that's, how is that going to affect me now that I know that? Okay, so that, that it, sometimes be careful what you wish for. Be careful that you know. Um, it, it's like, I want to know everything. I want to know everything. It's like, but do you? Do you really? Okay, so um, you could change this and um, now, but you can't change it by next week. Once it's known, it's known. There seems to be a bit of a power struggle going on, okay, within an emotional situation uh, where other people are trying to battle with you um, and they believe that they're right, you believe that you're right. So 
Um, I know I'm seeing this in a lot of the readings, but there is a divide going on and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, and that's why it's coming up so frequently in the cards. Um, there's a financial offer coming your way or a job offer. OK, you're going to have to think very carefully. You're going to have to dissect whether or not this is a good plan, whether or not you're going to be better off or worse off um, if you accept this offer. If it's a partnership to do with the business, you do have to work out whether or not this person and their energy is going to come in and take over half of your empire or whether they are just going to come in and have a tenth of it um, or some of it. OK, so you have to you have to work that out sometimes. Um, and this can be that you um, needed to. You need to work this out before this offer comes because you may be put on the spot. OK, so if you feel that somebody's going to be asking you, um, can I come work for you and I'll offer you this or. You know, I want to invest in your business or, you know, I'm looking for somebody who can uh, work with me um, because of all of that, you may you may need to kind of be able to say yes or no. OK, at the time, um, the money is at your feet because it feels as if you've done really well. Um, and do you actually need somebody else with you? Could you just carry on as you are um, and stay a small business? Or um, are you wanting to expand quickly? Um, if so, is it too quickly? You know, so there's a deep and under, and um, I mean, I'm saying it's about a business. It could be about a work project. It could be about, um, all sorts of things. If you think of it as an energy thing, somebody wants to come along and and help you or join with you and you're doing OK on your own. But then there's a question mark. Am I or could I do with some help? If I do, what is it going to cost me? Um, OK, by the end of the week, the star is here. So star, this is hopes, dreams and wishes. I'm seeing a relationship that is very strong. OK, this relationship, um, it's like two peas in a pod, two, pe two people who are able to flow, go with the flow. They get along really, really well. Um, they don't, they, they haven't got any angst with each other. These people um, totally are in harmony, OK? Um, unconditionally. Now, this is either that you have this now, or I'm sensing that you've sent this out to the universe to bring to you, okay? Um, because it's definitely coming up, linking with love, life, or emotions. Um, if you your relationship used to be like this, but it's been going through some issues, then this is an indication that the universe has your order, okay? And uh, it's gonna bring about a way of you understanding the other person and the other person understanding the other. So it's a communication breakthrough um, that will happen. Okay, so you're able to see where you're going now after there's been kind of the storm of the beginning of the week. Um, you're able to now kind of navigate through and understand, right, this is it. I can now see where I'm going. I know what, what the plan is. Uh, I feel that you're having to deal with things as soon as they come up, linking to jobs or linking to kind of the, um, the things that you need to sort out. OK, so you're right on track to be in that organized person that you've always wanted to be, okay? And uh, other people are noticing just how well you're doing. And that's why I think there might be an offer coming to you um, at the middle of the week. So, there you go. Morris. Vera. Yay. Well, for Taurus, for the beginning of the week, 
I had, and he came, so I came out a couple of times with all the other signs, with some of the other signs. For the beginning week, the three dream thief, refusal of the call. And at this time, it's more like I'm drawn to the eyes from, like, there's someone lurking around trying to see if they can steal your dream, your idea, and waiting for the opportunity if you refuse that call of your heart, of your soul, or of your life purpose, they will try to steal it. But I don't feel that's going to happen. That has to do with people or some people are jealous of your ideas of what you want. And <clears throat> it's, yeah, in a way you think like, okay, is this really what I'm willing to do or whatever? You talk with people around, but some around you, but sometimes it's more about, it's, more about what you feel, what you think. And you can say when you go to bed, okay, what is it actually I am called to do in my life? Keep telling you, tell your guides to, when you sleep, put that direction or put you back on track of your heart's desire. <clears throat> because towards the middle of the week, it's also about repairing the veil, forgiveness. And the minute I say the word forgiveness, it's about missed dreams or missed opportunities. Forgive yourself because sometimes a situation you get an opportunity and that the timing is completely off it's not the right path at that time because you need to heal other stuff and yeah sometimes when you let something you love to do wait for a while so you refuse that call that is inside because there are things to be healed that could be on emotions that could be financial because sometimes the dream you have you don't have the abundance to do so because sometimes they ask a lot of questions a lot of money for it but when you question and put out in the universe that you get those things on your path that is the right path that will help you get the abundance, maybe by someone that says, well, I'll give it to you. It's so important to you. I will give it to you. Or all of a sudden you get money back for something you have been overpaying for. Save it because that money that comes back is to get those workshops, those studying you need to do to get to your dream, to your heart's desire, to your path of what you are called out to do. So heal it. If it doesn't get on you, don't get annoyed because towards the end of the week, all that work you have been doing and I love it because it came out, the stars came out in Ellie's too. It says stars in the sky, limitless possibilities. Because all of a sudden, because you've been changing the, uh, the, 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 the energy of achieving your goals, all of a sudden, that's it. it's like all the stars are telling you, I want to help you. I'm your path. I can, well, 
I can bring you there too, and I. So look out for those stars and, and grab that opportunity because they are limitless. And I, th I feel you'll be, it could be you feel out of breath. Oh my God, overwhelmed. I never thought that, that this would get on my path. It will. And if it's not this week, because it sometimes it shifts, sometimes it takes a little longer to heal or, or that opportunities are there and it needs work to bring it to you. But that opportunity will be coming on your path towards the end of the week. And I love it because it does fit in and it comes out a second time too. The bat. See through the illusion into the truth. Because, and I'm, I'm compelled to say that sometimes people may let you believe that you are good at this and this and this. And maybe you have believed them all the time, which can relate refusal of the call, the dream thief. You have to forgive yourself for that because people can be pretty, like pretty strong. Oh no, but that's not you. That's you. But deep down in your heart, you know better. And don't be afraid because you can see through illusion into the truth like a bat with echolocation you know what's good for you don't be afraid to use it that's what i got for taurus upcoming week okay. you're welcome Okay, so this is now Virgos, okay, so um, for Virgos, there is going to be a frustration for you guys as well, Virgos, because it, it, the energy of being held back from reaching what it, your full potential, and I feel that there, the, you know, for you there's going to be an offer, um, I've got the same kind of card that I had before, um, so there's going to be an offer coming to you, or it could be you offering someone else. Um, it's a good opportunity. The opportunity is arising, I feel, because um, you want more. Okay, I'm sensing a young or immature energy around you. Somebody who sulks if they don't get what they want, um, and they can be very, very determined. Okay, I feel that they are very naive. And very sensitive and this person you're having to kind of teach them the right and the wrong way um of going about things of you know achieving the things that you that, that they need it's like you're it's like i don't know what else to do to get you to see sense okay but this person so this person ha can be young or they can be naive okay um but it's like I need to get through to you. Okay, that is going to be the feeling there. Um, there is a past life connection that is going on, a bit like you're um, you're rerunning um, a program that you've had before in the past. You know, it's it's like we did this um, tippy toeing around each other before in a past life not understanding each other. Um, and this time round, we're supposed to, this time round, we're supposed to get past that. Okay, um, but whether or not this person will accept help or not is another matter. The middle of um, the week, I'm seeing your psychic ability, your spirituality getting stronger. Um, I also feel that you are going to the heart of the matter. Um, and finding out for yourself 
um, what the uh, what the issue is. It's like I'm seeing you being very direct. Okay, the directness is it could upset another person. So it's like um, the opposite to playing it cool and the opposite to to doing things tippy toeing and carefully. You're not doing it tippy toe and carefully. Um, you literally are going and, and saying, right, that's it. I'm going to have it out with you. You know, I can't do this anymore. Now, whether that's the right way or the wrong way of doing it, I don't know. Each person is going to be different. But you are in the process of dealing with it heads on. So it could be that it works out perfectly. It could be that's exactly um, the way to handle it. Um, you know, time will tell. OK, um, I'm seeing some travel plans coming up for you guys around the middle of the week. And I feel that this could be it may not be the actually going um, to travel um, in the middle of the week. It could be a plan to travel. OK, but this this won't be just to go and get some petrol or this is, you know, go. This will be a holiday or a long distance. OK, um, the plans. I'm seeing you, um, one hand, you've been playing it, it kind of like um, heavy handed, I would say, with an emotional uh, matter. Um, but with another person, you're able to meet them halfway. You're able to, to see this person for what they are, okay? And, to, and that both of you are able to communicate in a very calm manner. Now, I'm not 100% sure that this isn't the person that you directly had it out with or whether this is somebody else. All I know is you and another person, um, it had been very difficult, but you've kind of gone, um, you've both kind of met up together in, on an equal footing. Okay, so by the end of the week, um, you've got the strength to conquer anything that you decide to now what it is that you thought you wanted it could be that you might not want it in the end it could be that you you was your um your sense of sense of i you know the it's like a sweetie shop it's like if you work in a sweetie shop and you say i want what's on the top shelf but i can't afford it um, and the more you kind of look at the top shelf and say you can't afford it, and then one day you can afford it and you didn't like it anyway. Because sort of, I mean, it's, it's something that you have been striving towards. And um, I feel this is linked with job ambition. It can be a desire for a partnership, a person. It's something that you've, you've spent a lot of time craving and there isn't, it isn't what it seems. OK, it's a bit of a letdown or disappointment. But what happens straight after that disappointment is, OK, well, I've tried that. I didn't like it. So now I'm going to I know that I, I want to look elsewhere into what it is that I do want. So there seems to be lots of ideas going at the end of the week. There seems to be lots of excitement, lots of plans. OK, everything seems to be going in a in a in a, in a good way. OK, and. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I see. There you go. Over to Vera. Uh -oh. I was muted. Okay, for the upcoming week for Virgo, for October 4th to October 10th, <clears throat> the beginning of the week. I, the card overflow and plenty, overwhelm and plenty. And this could be like when you think it's on emotions. When you let emotions go, it might feel like you're, it's an overflow of emotions. Will it ever stop? But when you let it flow, it clears out any anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Um, 
but it can also be on a relationship when you like someone let them know you love them let them know it's okay that you're there for them uh And I'm drawn also to the beautiful bright sky. It, it's a very, yeah, beautiful bright card, especially the sky. It's 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 shining. And so it can also be that they advise you to overflow others or overwhelm with your light with your brightness to shine you are allowed to shine towards the middle of the week because when you feel like your uh, everything overflows it's overwhelming or it's okay let it go because it will bring you a, stood, a bold step forward the farther gate Again, and I feel to, compelled to say that it felt for a long time that that gate kept, stayed out of reach. You couldn't grab the gate. And for na but now with with all that with all the work you've done, all of you have been working on yourself or 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 whatever or or creating a better financial status uh, towards the middle of the week you will feel you can finally finally and I it feels like you've been climbing a mountain for way too long one step in front of the other thinking it's never going to be there and then all of a sudden and that's going to, for, I think a lot of, and not just for, for Virgo, but all over the world. There's going to be a huge bay, step, bold step forward. You're finally at that gate that you can pull yourself through. Walk through that gate into that beautiful brightness on the other side. Like it's you pulling everything off, but then towards the end of the week, it is also time to just hunker down, and they call it a fool's embrace, transmuting pain, which is important because when you transmute the pain you've been feeling all your life. It creates space for love. It can bring you more love. Interactions to people will not be so heavy anymore because you know what it's like. You know what it's like to go all the things and get through it. Get on the other side and then feel, hi, I'm out in the open. I'm finally walking in the sun and it feels so good. Doesn't mean you're finished yet. But you're getting there. And don't be afraid to transmute the pain you felt throughout your life and forgive yourself for it. Is what is the word what I'm I'm told. <laughs> so even though it looks like it's oh you agree it feels a bit heavy, but I'm not ready, girl. That was cat my cat screaming from the top of her lungs. But all these things together are just, you can see it as just steps. And it might be, it's not you, not yourself that's going through it. But someone in your uh, surrounding that, that you care about a lot. Because an, as an advice card, the parrot wanted to come out and it says, Listen intently to understand. And when I put that on the others, 
I feel that a lot of the Fergus are at a point that they can, when they listen to another, they can make them feel they are understood. You might want to, when they're done, finish talking, and they might say it 10 times, 20 times, 40 times. Deep breath. Ah, they're out, and then you can have the chance to listen to their, to, or tell your, your story. To let them really feel that they have not gone through that all alone, because there are others going through it the same way. So it feels like a, a little bit of a very emotional week, overwhelming week. But yeah, the gateway to get to the other side, to get to where you want to go, to be free from all change, from everything, helping others, because you found the love in your heart for yourself, which can open up everything around you to help. That's what I got for Virgo. Yeah, funny that this one came out on top of it. Yeah. Yeah, there's um it's like they never forget to overwhelm me the readings when I'm doing um astrology. You know, well, I, I love the way that they work and sometimes they repeat themselves. Um but it's like there's a running theme that goes through them. Yeah. Did, did you hear a scream when I yeah. read the, the card from the, the Fool's Embrace? Because yeah. I think she was afraid I'll stop because I picked up the parrot card and she was quiet. <laughs> Bless her. She likes to be involved. You know, both the cats do. Like, there's it. more. There's way more. You can. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I know, they're funny little things, aren't they? <laughs> okay, so we're on the last one now. Um, yes. Capricorn. Okay. Oh, hi, Zampi. Is Zampi there? Um, oh, I haven't seen or heard of this up for a long time. Okay, so we've got Capricorn. Capricorn's temperance. We're starting off with temperance, which is all about the balance. And Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Um, it's all about the balance, trying to find um, fairness, trying to find what is right and what is not right, okay, and it's about the pros and the cons, the black and the white, the, you know, and looking at the different grey areas in, in your life, um, or trying to work, trying to help other people to see that there are grey areas in other people's lives. There has been something missing from your life for a while, Capricorn. And you're realizing that you're realizing that you're needing to um it's like there's something that is bugging me um it's like what is it that i need okay i'm going to show you the card so you know what i'm seeing okay capricorns can you see that it's kind of like he's got this kind of hole there okay it is kind of missing something so life is going on around him and he's kind of thinking yeah but what about this, this, this thing, you know, there's got to be more to life, okay, and I want more, okay, so this, this makes us feel sometimes in our life, it's like, um, am I happy with my ambitions, am I on my life path, am I doing things that I know are right for me for my future, okay, and if there are any um, any things that you think you really are, is like, I'm fed up with that and I'm fed up with that, um, then I feel that the, the beginning of the week is all about getting that balance back and finding out what it is that's missing and going for it. Um, I feel that um, there are some, um, there has been a feeling of, what's the feeling of fed up um, for other people? It's like, what is, oh, funk. Um, so, um, Paige said that earlier. She said, I'm in a bit of a funk mood. What did she say? How did she say it? 
Kira, what did she say? Um, it's it's like fed. It's a word for fed up, but I wanted to use that word because that was uh, that was it really. Can you remember what she said? No. Sorry. So yeah, it's, it's a feeling of being fed up, and I feel that it's like there are blocks and obstacles around me, and okay, I can't get I can't get past that, but there are always a way around um, of, of compromising with things. It's like, well, I can't do that, but I can do this. So I feel that's what this is all about at the beginning of the week for you, Capricorn. It's like where, wherever there's an obstacle um, and you want to get past that obstacle, what else could you do in the meantime? OK, um, and it's about being selfish and saying it's my turn. This is what I want. This is what I need. By the middle of the week for Capricorns, there seems to be um, things coming to fruition. Um, you've got the Empress card, and the Empress card can mean fertility, it can mean abundance, it can mean motherhood, nurturing. Um, it's like an over, overwhelming feeling of, um, it's like it's time, okay? It's all to do with perfect timing, okay? And I quite like, like this card as well. Okay, so if you see this, the impress card, that is um, the light seer's um, tarot cards. Okay, it's like um, sometimes it's all to do with, you know, um, divine timing. There's a peace and tranquility in your heart um, around the middle of the week. So whatever you were feeling in the beginning of the week, it's going to um, ease off at the middle of the week because I think you take in charge of that situation and saying, well, yeah, I'm feeling fed up. Why am I feeling fed up? Okay, it's because of that. Right, I'm going to change it. And because of that, the middle of the week is going to be a lot better for you. There is still some obstacles around you. Okay, so it's not saying that everything's going to be perfect. Everything's going to be hunky-dory. Okay, um, it can be that, you know, there's. it's like I need change, but I've started the ball rolling. Okay, so and it will start to move forward. Um, somebody who's got OCD or somebody who likes everything in its place, I'm sensing that this particular person in your life, it could be yourself or it could be someone around you, um, they are not wanting things to be moved or touched or put into the wrong place at home. Okay, this could be your home. Um, this could be, you know, um, you're going to visit somebody and, and that's what they're like. Um, but this, this feeling, it, it's like it's not going to go well, okay, um, this energy, you're going to, it's like you're going to be fed up with that, okay, if it's you who is being very particular, then you know when you get on your own nerves, and when you get on your own nerves, then you know that you've got to sort something out, you've got an issue then, okay, so um, it's, it's definitely something to do with home life, your home, your, your um, surroundings. Um, by the end of the week, you've got the Hermit card. So we've had the Hermit card twice in this um, layout here, okay? We've had it twice. Okay, so um, the Hermit is about your, like I said, it's about your home. It's about how you feel when you're alone. Um, are you happy to be alone? If you aren't happy in your own company, then there are, is obviously some work that needs to be done. We can't just put it down to our personality because we should be self-sufficient within ourselves because it, then if we've got other relationships around us, it actually makes that stronger and better, okay? Because we are not needy. Just to I mean, being needy and adding that into a relationship it doesn't work out very well because it's a heaviness um, and a pressure on top of the other person. Um, you know, it's like it's like they don't feel as if they can go out. They don't feel as if they can have a life of their own because they're aware um, that you are needing them, that they don't like being alone. OK, so um, I feel that there is for some of you, there's going to be an issue about that. OK, either with yourself or that is linked with a partner. Um, there's mischievousness going on around you. So um, 
for some of you, it's going to be absolutely fine. Um, it's just it just means having fun, um, enjoying yourself, um, that type of thing. But for others of you, um, and this is just a few, um, there is going to be an issue with somebody who is not doing. Um, it feels as if they're not doing um, you right. There seems to be um, that they're trying to get away with something um, that is detrimental to you, that is not good for you. OK, so there's a need for protection. There's a need for, you know, if you're signing any legal or official documents, then make sure that you read the small print and make sure that you understand exactly what everything means. Um, and it's like, don't be afraid to ask questions and um, make sure that um, you perhaps have somebody else look at it as well. Um, you're tippy-toeing around a certain person or a certain situation. Um, I'm seeing that there is communication issues and um, a need to kind of get the balance right. And I feel this is linked with, um, it feels as if it's either a family member or it is linked with a love in your love life, okay? Because it feels as if it's ongoing deep love, okay? And it's like, um, I need you with me at this point because we're about to do something official. So I feel that there may be somebody who's moving and it's to do with contracts and signatures and um, there's a need to read the small print, okay? Because something isn't quite right, okay? And it might save you a lot of hassle in the long run. Okay, so there you go. That's what I see for Capricorn. Over to you, Yay! <clears throat> okay, I got four the Capricorn for the upcoming week from October 4th to October 10th. The first card for the beginning of the week, it states Feast of Plenty, Choices and Their Consequences. Because Yes, when you make choices, sometimes you doubt if it's the right choice because you have to let go of another thing or whatever. But feast, make 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 the best of what you have at the moment. When you have to make a choice, look at it because good knife has two sides a sharp and a and a not so sharp or you have a sword that has two sides that are sharp but i'm also on this card extremely compelled to look at it looks a little bit like an arrow like it's also something when you make the choices you need to make it will also bring you uh, bring a lot of good stuff for you yes and if you put that on a job say well if i choose this job i have more room to save money for this and this and this <coughs> sometimes you have to do something that is not what you think, well, I'm not sure if it's the right choice. Because I would love to do that, but be able to reach it, you'll have to do the other choice first to work your way towards what you really want. But when you can make those choices, and I don't think nowadays that there the choices are made that you really have to see as consequences are bad. They can also be good, positive. Uh, so maybe you make a choice to follow your heart, but you earn a little less money. Fine. The biggest abundance comes from the energy you get from a job that you follow from your art. 
but no matter what choices you make, and this has come up another time, is it's going to help you to take a bold step forward. And immediately heard, I hear feeling like you've been stuck for a while in the same situation. You may now make, you made a choice in the beginning of the week. It's a bold step, scary step forward. But towards the end of the week, you will see that the choices you're making is about, and it says the dragon's horde, protecting the future. Well, when you look down there, you see that bright light shining, like there's an egg or, or laying there, and also keys hanging below. So all the steps you're taking and protecting the future is when you protect that is important, that what you love is something that you were, is also protecting your future. Because when you have something you're compassionate about, it doesn't matter which route it takes, it's there, it will be there. So I think that the Dragon's Horde is also about, about nurturing what your compassion is and what, what's in your heart. and. That is, in fact, a way of protecting the future. Yes, you have to live. It's important to live in the now. Because what you do now can be the foundation for the future. So what you build now is, in fact, working towards protecting the future. So that could be your... Like Ellie says, there's a pregnancy, pregnancy coming from you or, or people around you because they want to protect the future of the family. Because when, the, yeah, your, your family will keep growing. And if you don't get, if that person doesn't get children, that line of the family will eventually disappear. Doesn't mean you have to do it, but it's just an example. So anything you do now, with all the choices and the consequences, and you can weigh them because you have two swords, you have huge globe, it can shine. You can mold that ball the way you want. And it will help you to bring that step, big step forward, which is a way of protecting your future. Don't look too far away. And the advice comes this time from the kangaroo. And it says, be a force for good. And you, when you pronounce it differently, be a force for, for good or be a force for the good. It depends all about how you want to see it. So you don't have to be a force all the time because everyone needs time to replenish. But when you are strong and a force for, for people around or your, especially the people you care about, all that together, is about protecting the future, about what you're going to do, what's important, what's in store for you. Because when you have a good foundation, well, when you build a home on a good foundation, it stays up for a very long time. But when it's built on a dodgy or, or brittle foundation, well, then you'll always have, okay, when it's going to cave in. But when you build your path, you make your choices wisely. Accept the consequences that, because sometimes you have to take, make a choice 
that you don't feel is the best and it has a consequence that maybe you have to spend less time with the family, but it can be a way of working towards the future so you have all the time in the world. It all depends on how you look at it. So the kangaroo says, be a force for good. For all the good. That's what I have for Capricorn. Yay. We did it. High five, Vera. High five. We did it. Oh, thank you everybody who has joined in um, throughout the evening. I know people have come and gone. Um, we love you all and anybody who watches this in the future. If you wanted a reading with myself, you can go to psychicalley.net and you can book a reading there. Um, or if you wanted a reading with our Vera, um, she has added her contact details in the chat. Okay, so um, it's all there if you wanted to. to you'll, have, you'll have to scroll way up to the first couple of comments. That's where it is. I've also added yours again. You can you can get in touch with Vera. Her email address is there at the bottom there, risingwolfstar at gmail.com. Um, so you can always send her a message there. Okay. Or just use the link that's yeah. also in the chat from me. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Vera. It's lovely. I love Welcome. working with you. I love working with you too. Aww. And I didn't get tired until the last one this time. Okay, nor did I actually. I started rocking a little bit kind of around the, the Virgo one. Yeah. I picked up my golden healer and started rubbing my thighs, sending yeah. it to you because that was the biggest part you were rubbing. I was rubbing my knees, yeah, I was. Um, on my legs. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Vera. You're so lovely. Oh. Okay. Um, we will, I will, you're probably sick of me going live because I did um, two live videos before on, um, I was doing some selling. So if you wanted to have a look and see some of the jewelry that I make um, and some of the, uh, the pyramids, and the coasters that I've been uh, making as well, then have a look. It's in two, two parts, okay, the selling video. Uh, you're welcome to order anything, even if it has been sold, I can make another one. The only things that I can't make doubles of, because they never turn out exactly the same, is the resin stuff. Um, it will be an individual thing. I can make it very similar, um, but I, there's no guarantee it'll be the same. <laughs> No, um, they, 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 they work out the way the energy wants them to work. I know. Because you make them. So, in fact, it's not because they're not, si they are similar, mm. but they have their own way of energy. It's true. It's true. There's no controlling it. Nope. Okay. Thank you, guys. It's been lovely and um, a lot of love going out to everybody. And have a wonderful week. And um, I'll see you on uh, tomorrow, Vera. We're doing um, is psychic development tomorrow. So if anybody fancies having a go at psychic development, they feel that maybe, I don't know, perhaps I'm a bit psychic. The answer to that is yes, because if you're questioning in it, um, then, then the time is now and you're ready. Um, and especially if you don't have an idea how you can develop yourself spiritually, just being in the class is already helping it, it will be it triggers um, yeah you hit off other people's energy and it just it just triggers you so if you want to develop your psychic side um you know please feel free to join in if you're feeling lonely and you feel as if you need friendships then that's another reason to join us okay all right um so there's always um, a smiling face there for you um, on Mondays, it's 7.30 p.m. Um, UK time.
2.30 p.m. in USA Eastern and um, 11.30 a.m. Pacific time every Monday. Okay, if you wanted to see what these classes are like, um, you can join Patreon and you get invited to see all of the videos and all of the workshops um, like you're a fly on the wall. Um, so if you wanted to support myself um, and, and the things that I do, then I would be most happy that you did that. Um, so it's as little as $1.11 a month. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, take care and bye for now. Bye, dear. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, see you tonight. <laughs> yeah, tonight. <laughs> bye. 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 <laughs>